There we go, that's better. There we go, we have sound. Excellent, right, let's check that the Facebook live comments is working. If anybody's watching this on Facebook, uh, please let me know in the chat if everything's working fine. So what was it you said before I, uh, what was it I said before I clicked the go live button? It was basically that this is not a sponsored video. Um, so if you're expecting one of my top quality, absolutely perfect videos, tutorial and everything, this isn't it. Um, this is not a sponsored video. We're doing this uh, just funded through the Patreon campaign. And unfortunately, due to lots of other things going on this morning, we haven't quite managed to get as ready as we wanted to. So Paul and Arthur have been doing the setup, which we have now done. Is that right? We yeah, think I think so. we're there. Yeah, we think we've done the setup. So we're just going to tidy up bits we don't need and get them off and sort out things on the overhead camera. So what's all this? What do we need? The what di don't the we need? The dice definitely are part of it. We definitely need dice. Yeah. Okay. What's this? That's the dock tile. So we're playing Flotilla and we're learning how to play as we go. Kevin Shaw is here, Facebook seems good. Excellent. Three times dock tiles, but this is, yeah. a, it's a three player this game. is the dock tile for the three player game. Right. But what do we do with it? Don't remember reading anything about okay. a dock so tile. So points. Is this our points? This is the extra points. This is the this, extra points. This is the this game's is the 300. Pool. So the one thing, this is going to be a very much a drip feed rules, um, but the game comes with these victory point counters, which you can see here. There are, we've, we've got 100 per player. in the FAQ, Arthur? The dock tile, because I can't see anything yeah, Who knows what we do with it. Mm. There's 100 per player, and then when these run out, that triggers the end of the game, I'm assuming. Correct. But there is a there is a reserve supply here that we will go into. Oh, okay. Above and the board, respectively. So that can go out of play. Does it go like yeah, here? it goes there. Uh -huh. so that goes in the middle and that goes at the top. Right, okay. So this is, this is the board for three players, this is the board for three players. Yeah. Right, okay. What do we need of all this? We need the money. We'll put that near me so I can steal it. Um, what are these tokens? Are they toxicity tokens, maybe? No, I think well, I thought that was Depletion. these. Depletion. Depletion, Depletion tokens. tokens. So we'll need them. Yes, definitely. We have artifacts in the bag, yeah. which yeah. I have sorted out. And what about all of these little counters here? Zoom their resources. They these are resources. resources. Okay. I think they are 16 resource tokens. The blue table felt his thematic. Yes, yeah. I thought so. And should yeah. be resource barrels as well. Obviously, Oliver the octopus. Yeah. There's a resource barrel. We have these. There. Ah. Okay. That's why I'm confused. So we have resource barrels. And I don't resources. know whether these are resources because these are in different colours. Oh, these are player colours, I think. Yeah, these look like player colours. We've got purple, pink, black, orange and white. These are the they player colours. They are player colours. So what are these? Um, I will sort out the ones we need. So 16 resource tokens, but it looks like a lot more than 16. No, th those are the time f times 5 tokens of the 16. There are some times 5 tokens in here as well. Right, so 16 of those. They are not on the... I mean, do I have something like the deluxe edition? Yeah, that's, that's what these I'm wondering. Instead. But no, these these are player, these are player colours. If anybody's played the game and know what these sixteen resource tokens, oh, they're I not resources. Think they're, they're guild colors. guild seal tokens. There's ten guild seal tokens per player. That'll be the ones. Where does it say that? Uh, oh, it's up in this dark bit. It's not. Uh, no monkey. No monkey. Yeah. There. Yeah. So that's just showing the orange ones. There yeah. you go. He's here. Bring them on. All right, so we've got those in player colours when we need them. Yeah. So what were they in? They're guild seal tokens. Guild seal and tokens. And there are 10 per player. Okay, well, they are yours. Thank you. They are yours. Yeah. And these are mine. And we can get rid of the ones for the player colours not in use. Yeah, we can which is pink and black. So this game is three to five players. I know a few people that actually were looking at this at Essen, but then because of the minimum three player count, decided not to look at it. Uh, but there has been a bit of interest in the game. So hopefully this video is gonna be uh, useful for you. Uh, and again, similar to your first experience. Now, one of the things that I was told by a number of people when we said that we were gonna learn how to play this game is that the rule book uh, isn't clear on certainly a few things. There's an FAQ online on BGG, which you need, but the FAQ isn't complete because there is errata on some of the tiles which isn't in the FAQ. So 
yeah, if, you, if you've got this game or you're going to get this game soon and you are going to learn how to play, be aware you're going to have to do a bit of legwork first. I believe the bit in the rulebook which is really unclear is the bit about scoring. So we'll get to that later yeah. on, but apparently that bit is really badly worded. Right. Okay. Now, what have we got and are we going to be able to get everything on camera? I'm going to try and move this keyboard off screen so you can't see it. Let's get that out of the way. Graham Parton's here. Hi, Graham. Thank you for joining in. Just popped in to say hi. Kraken TGD is here. Uh, Johannes is here as well. Excellent. Right. So let's get these off camera. Get that off camera. Get that off camera. Let's try and tidy up. So I've got six cards. And we've each got six cards. Yep. Which are starting yeah. cards. And we, yeah. we've each got the same six starting cards. Have we, we have. That's right. And are they coded to the player colours in no. any way? We've just got, we've, we've all just, just got, got the same six, six, six cards. Same cards. And the cards are two-sided with sync side on one side. Yeah. And sky side, side on, on the, the other. other side. Actually, I think they are coded to, oh no, I've got my side down. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so these are orange. The sky side is orange and the other side is blue. blue yeah. Which is in no relation to the play code. No. And are they all individual? They are. They are each unique. one of these. One is is, each one of these is different. Right. Yeah. Okay. So that's our starting six cards. Where do they go? In our hand, I think. Okay. They go in hand. Because we're playing cards out of hand. We are now. Yeah. Jason Dinger, cap, uh, captains of the golf designer. Yeah. Has made these. Oh, they're for nice. me. Thank you. If these will work. Because that will get the cards on camera rather than having them in this edge thing where you can't see them. Yeah. Maybe. So thank you very much, Jason, for these. And I mean, we're going to be expanding this, though, aren't we? Yeah, you, you can't see them. But no, we can't see them, but it, it means that we can we can store them. Yeah. I mean, the game topper has one. Yeah. The problem is it's it's here. Yeah. Which means when you lean over, you, knock. you knock them. Yeah. Right. So yeah, can't quite see them, but that's them. I'm going to put mine there, actually. I don't know if you want to put yours here, Paul. But we're going to need where. Well, there. Yeah, to be honest, I'm better off using the game topper. Oh, yeah, right. Think, okay, because I can't see. Them all are we going to need to expand this as we go along? Yes, uh, we are placing tiles. Um, I don't know. I don't know the quantity. Okay. So we got. So I'm going to shuffle this this way just a bit, and then see what happens. Now, what were you saying in setup? Is that there's an imaginary line going out from here? I think from the second. second from the yeah. second one. Yeah. yeah. So oh, is that what that dotted thing is? No. So it's from there. Yeah. And nobody else can come into that, that, that territory. Yeah. Right. So, the, so the area where where there's going to be absolutely nothing is is this area over here. If I store stuff here. Okay. I store stuff there. Yeah. That's fine. What are these then? Outposts. And these oh, just mm. these just live here. No, they live they here. Live on your dashboard oh right. Okay. For, for the moment. So put them there. And we start with a certain amount of money. That was indicated on our starting tile. Yeah, yeah. So I've got seven because I'm third player. Yeah. You got five. You've got six. Mm -hmm. That's right. Okay. And these are skiffs. They are. Is there a picture in the rule book of these? Because they do is. seem. Are, are they supposed to go there? Oh, right. Or, or it, I think is there a picture of the board set up? The picture of them in the book has them up here. Well, it has them like that, and they fit. Okay. So because. So, they're quite nice, they're just quite big. Yeah, so I'm putting them back on there. Right, okay, so everybody can see that. Now, what's this? This is the guild board, I think. I'm thinking we might be able to zoom in a bit because everything is a bit small. Yeah, that's the guild board. There we go. Uh, Dingus Thingers, yes, Jason, they're the ones. <laughs> to be honest, um, if Arthur can move his board up, we can zoom in quite a bit. Yeah, well, that's probably good. If, yeah, if you can move your board up and you move yours across a bit, yeah, then we're probably we're probably good. Yeah. Now we have just unpunched this game, so if you see lots of bits of white all over the board, that's what that is. We just punched it out, and there was a lot of bits. Like definitely a lot of bits. Right. Okay. So, do you want to pass me the rule book? I've browsed it. I've You've bra half read it. I've browsed it. I've, Arthur I've, has read it. I've read it. Did you didn't, do you, didn't do you internalize a lot though? <laughs> <laughs> Do you want to do the main teaching then? I don't think that would be wise. <laughs> okay, right. So, what are we trying to do? So, the game is set in 1954. There's been a nuclear weapons test that's gone wrong. The world has basically ended. 
something like that. Yeah, it's it, a dystopian. It, it, it is a dystopian, not futuristic though. Bikini Atoll, they sunk the sunk the ocean or something. Is the Bikini Atoll a real thing? Oh yeah, that was where they actually did nuclear tests. Oh right, okay. Yeah. So ten years after the disaster, so it's 1964. Um, but yeah, decimating populations worldwide and. Yeah, basically, nuclear disaster type of thing. Um, so water levels rose and the remnants of humanity fled their homes on the land and took to the sea, which is where we are. Right, so game overview. So we're fleet captains. Uh, sorry, we're great captains trying to bring prosperity to the flotilla that houses the last remnants of human civilization. Um, there are two roles in the game and you start off sink side. But at some point in the game, you can change role to sky side, but then that's it. You're fixed. To be clear, you never have to do that. It's you, option, yeah, you option. never have to do it. Now, somebody said in the chat earlier on, wonder what would happen if everybody switched to sky side. Now, we don't know because we've not played the game before. No. So we'll, we'll find out. Brian is saying that the skiffs are big because they are able to carry resources that you find when diving. Yeah. OK, right. Game end. So victory points apply here. And when this runs out, we finish the current round, and then there's one more. Uh, and we use these Spirit. reserve ones here if we need to. Right, so we've been through uh, most of the components, I think. We have the hub board in the middle. This is the survivor track tile, which is the one for the three play game. And that goes there, yeah. okay, whatever that is. These are dials which I think tracks something. There's four guilds, the speakers, the delvers, the founders, and the traders, which is yellow, blue, green, uh, red, and green. And these dials here correspond to them. We've got currency, which is the money. We have objective tiles, which we have decided randomly which six sets to use. And each of these piles is three in order. So the one on the top is worth the most. And then it, they go down in decreasing value. So you don't always, I think there was 11 sets. Uh, and we're using three of them. We have a big bag full of ocean tiles, which is here, that is, that is full of ocean tiles. Uh, and we have a little bag with artifacts in, one of which, one of each type has been taken out at random. We have a sonar tracker, which is here. We have some dice. So the dive dice are the three different colors of blue. Yeah. Just about see the difference. And the orange ones are research dice. And this is interesting because they're colored. So it's not just icons on them, but there's actually colours on them as well. This was quite an expensive game, I think. Okay. But when you look at... There's a lot of components. There there's a, a lot, lot of components. There is a lot of bits. A yeah. lot of components, a lot of wooden bits. Uh, some of these got knocked. Right, okay. So these are the four guilds, and what these were influence markers, is that right? Guild influence, I yeah. think. Yeah. So, yeah. Guild influence markers representing how much influence we have in each guild, in each guild which is currently zero. Um, right, personal play area. So we've done the personal play area. We each have a starting tile, which is here. Um, we've got our currency, got your player board, got the skiffs. Uh, place your fourth skiff on the starting tile marked with that. So yeah, that one. Toxicity markers on here. Six starting crew uh, and your guild, guild seal tokens beside your player board. Right. What was the bit that was missing from setup then? It was step 11. Uh, yeah, there were a couple of steps. Uh, putting um, these on here. Starting so. with the speaker's guild crew card, shuffle the tier two crew and place them sink side face up onto the space and then the tier one on top. So there was something wrong with that, was there? Well, there was, but it didn't really need adding. Okay. I yeah, and then and then there was the need to put the guild influence discs on the yeah. On that so board. that was missing. Yeah, yeah. And right. Then, okay. And then the fact that we have these outposts which go on the dashboards. Okay. So we have here we have crew members for each guild. We have the tier ones and the tier twos underneath. And we have because we're three players, we have two random crew cards per tier, per mm -hmm. guild. Yeah. So there should be four cards in there. No, there's four taken out. Oh, sorry. Return crew cards to the box based yeah. on your play account. Yeah. Right. So we took out two random ones. From right. each tier. Okay. That's that. How to play. Right. Are you all with us so far? Crazy Dennis Hopper should trigger more end games. Yes, definitely. <laughs> um, Ian Robinson's here. Missed much. No, we're learning how to play. 
So, Paul, you've been picked as the first player. You'll take a turn, and we go round clockwise like that. Yeah. Right? There's no stru- There's no rounds. There's no phases or anything like that. You basically just take turns. Except I think we know... It, yeah, we have to remember who the starting player is because of the game-ending stuff. That. Indeed. First yeah. player. Right. Uh, on your turn, you play a card from your hand, resolve its effects, and put it face up on your discard pile. And that's it. Yep. Yeah. Right. So, it now jumps into the crew cards. I'm going to put my crew cards face up here so people can see them. There we go. Might zoom in a little bit while we're talking about this. There we go. So these are the six crew cards we each have in our hand at the start of the game. Uh, there's a name at the top. Uh, it says above it, starter, which means it's a starter card. Uh, the cards are all two-sided. And at the start of the game, all of the cards are sink side face up. But uh, presumably, when you change to sky side, you, you flip, flip all of yeah, the cards you use over. The other side of the card. Um, down at the bottom right is the sale value or the income value. Now, when you're when you're um, sink side, it's a sale value. When I it's know. sky side, it's an income value. I've just thought of something. Mm-hmm. I know why the book the book shows that all the pieces off of here. Because when you flip to sky side, you have to flip your board. <laughs> oh right, okay. So it's probably a good idea not to put all your not pieces to put on anything the board. on them. Right, there we go. Okay. Uh, so that's what's in the bottom right. But then there is also in the top right there is the guild icon, which is only for affiliated crew. So the captain is not affiliated to a guild. These four are, and this one appears to be affiliated to all of the guilds. Mm-hmm. And then there is the effect text. So basically what it does, which I think is terraforming Mars style or underwater city style, that there's icons and text. Yeah. But the text is the same as the icons. Right. So, yeah, what you do is you play a card, do what it says, put it on your discard pile and then carry on. So the cards explained in order are the captain. When you play the captain card, you rally your crew, which is to pick up all of your crew cards in your discard pile and put them back into your hand including the captain. I saw that as a question on yeah. BGG. How do you ever get your captain back? No, obviously, but it includes yeah. that one. Um, and when you're sink side, you may then choose to turn sky side. So that's how you do it, Yeah, is by playing the captain. Or rather, when you do it. Well, actually, I mean, the rules say you can do this at any time. And then it talks then it about it in context of yeah, the captain. So yeah. it's a bit, bit odd, but. Anytime you play the captain. Well, we can, yeah. We can play it that way. <laughs> I don't, think um, makes a, I don't think it makes a huge amount of difference. Yeah, I, I would I would recommend uh, turning on your Klingon subtitles for this video. There's not going to be any right now because we're going out live. But afterwards, when people contact me and tell me all the things we did wrong, um, I'll put them in as Klingon subtitles. So that's the first question is, can you change to Skyside at any time or is it only when you play your captain? I think we should do it when you play your captain. I think that that's seems what it's implying. Now also, what's printed on the card here is, gain one coin for each card you pick up, including this one. That isn't mentioned in here. Right. But it's what's printed there, so we'll there do that. There is a rule in the rule book that says the, the components always take priority over the rule I book. I know, but it should say there. <laughs> I know. Okay, the scholar is the next one. Uh, it allows you to copy an opponent's top side card. So the card which is on top of your opponent's discard pile. I'm having flashes of Concordia here. Yeah. If you've played Concordia, You'll, you'll recognize the you, first you'll probably cards. recognize this bit mm-hmm. um so there's there are facts related to that which is that because some cards think they can discard other cards and it's the card you actually played for the action which is the yes. copyable one yeah so oh, you can right. play extra cards to boost certain things so if you're playing cards to boost stuff it's not it doesn't count for those it's only the one that's the action card the top side card which is the top card of an opponent's discard pile well it covers it by saying that the action card must be the last card yeah, yeah. Card. okay yeah. right Uh, It duplicates the card effect, including the sale or income value on that card. And the scholar belongs to all guilds. Okay, right. So that's that. That's quite easy. Now we get into the actual other cards which do something, because we're not going to play those on the first turn. Mm. So the next one it explains in the rulebook is the speakers, which is this one here. So each crew card from the speakers guild will allow you to gain influence on the guild tracks. To gain influence with the guild, you advance your guild influence marker clockwise around the guild board. Um, So when you play this card, although the speaker is part of the speaker's guild, you can gain influence with any of the guilds. And you can gain two influence with one one guild, 
or one influence with each of three different guilds. Mm -hmm. And you move your marker around on the track, there's a special oddity that you can go from that space to that space. But then you miss out on this, because when there is something printed, yep. you get that thing. Yep. Um, so there are various icons. That is draw a tile from the bag, draw an ocean tile from the bag. Uh, if you are sink side, you can place it immediately. If you're sky side, you can add it to your reserve. The little meeple head thing here is advance the survivor tracker by one space, which is this. Yep. Um, and then gain the bonuses you pass or land on. Yep. We would never pass if you're advancing it one space. Anyway, uh, money and victory points is money and victory points. And this is a resource of any type, which is added to your reserve on your player board, wherever your reserve is. Here, mm. yeah. I guess. Uh, this icon here, which is printed at the top, is place one of your guild seal tokens on the guild's banner. So once you've gone all the way round, you put this somewhere. Yeah. Okay. Um, if you've already placed all of these, you get two instead. So I guess we're going to be going round here a lot, placing a lot of these. And this one here is take the top crew card from this guild's slot on the guild board and add it to your hand. So this is how you get extra crew, yeah. is by this space here. Okay, so now I understand this. You can skip past it to not get more cards. To go quicker to put yeah. these on, but you miss out on getting the crew yeah, cards. Yeah, because those guild seals, I think, are responsible for, uh, not responsible, but key yeah. to victory points. Yeah, I was zoomed in a bit too much so people couldn't see what I was showing there. There we go. Right, so that is what the speaker does. That seems fairly easy. The trader, this one. Well, it says two money and make up to four transactions, which was it, what it says here. Now, the different transactions you can do, I don't know if there's a player aid. I've not seen there, one. There is. Um, not. Aha. Uh -huh. oh, sorry, I didn't need too many. Oh, how many do I need? One. One of each, I think. One so of each. One of each side, is it? Right, so we have two player raid cards, each of which is double sided. Right, so there's a lot of information here. Uh, and what are we looking at now? Uh, nope, it's not here. No. No. So the thing that I need is not here. So the four different transactions you can do as the trader are buy an additional skiff. Cost 12 money. You can only do this if you're sink side and you put it on your starting dock. If you have more skiffs, you'll be able to explore more and dive more. You can buy an outpost or tower. Uh, so you pay this amount to the bank. I'm saying this amount, people can't see because I'm, I'm zoomed in. So you can pay this amount to the bank to place one of your outposts on the board. Anywhere. Um, well, it says claim the topmost tile from any of the objective tile stacks. So that's these. Yeah. Um, mm. So from the left side of the guild board, if you're sink side or from that side, if you're sky side. Right. Took that tile below your player board and immediately score the points indicated on that tile. Place the outpost component onto any available construction site among your tiles in play. I think that's that. I think there's a tiny little icon on there which shows where I can construct an outpost. Oh yeah, so there is. I see it, yeah. You can construct a floating outpost and that's this. So if you, if you don't have a construction site available, you can still build one, but it costs you 10 more coins. I've no idea what outposts do. We will get to them later on. The third thing you can do is you can buy or sell a resource from the market. So you pay or gain the amount of currency as indicated under that resource types marker. So we have this here, we have a dynamic market. So we can see the, the currently the costs of these resources. Uh, and then once you've bought or sold X amount, the market then fluctuates. So you advance it up one space for each of that resource you purchased and down one space for each one that you sold. If it can't go any further, you get two points for each one that it goes that way. And if it can't go down here, you get a point. Yeah. So you get points, that's interesting. Cargo versus reserve. Right, resource barrels on your skiffs are considered cargo but cannot be sold at the market. You must first drop them off at your starting tiles drop off point, which is there. And then you add it to your reserve. So where you see that icon there, that means you can you can do that. Um, and the fourth transaction you can do, hang on a minute, there isn't one. 
Okay, no, you get to do four transactions. There are three different transactions available. Okay. Buy a skiff, buy an outpost, or trade. Yeah. So is okay. trade any number of goods? It's any amount of goods of one type. Okay, so if you do multiple trades, it'd be different. Types. I think so. Okay. Yeah. Right, next. How are we doing so far? We cannot buy and sell in the same Paul's action. notifications on his computer. Yes. Apologies for that. I need to uh, I need to turn off the... That'll be Vittel sending me lots of messages about the Kanban rulebook. There we go. Turned off. The founders. This one. Right. Sinkside and Skyside founders work differently, but they allow you to acquire ocean tiles in some way. So you draw the indicated number of ocean tiles um, at random from the bag, and then if an effect specifies you place fewer tiles than the number drawn, simply return the tiles to the bag. So it's draw three, place two of them, and put the other one back in the bag. Okay. That's what that says. Um, while sink side, founders will allow you to place the tiles you draw, while sky side, any tiles you draw go into your reserve. Right, toxicity on ocean tiles. Some of the tiles that you draw out of the bag, he says, will have on them <laughs> somewhere. I've certainly seen it asserted somewhere. <laughs> a toxicity marker. Oh, well, I think we've included that, not very many. So, well, do we know what we're looking for? Uh, apparently uh, not. It should be this radiation symbol, I think. Well, you would have thought so, yeah. except that the number is drawn out of the bag suggests there is the... There. Oh, there is. Is that it one? It is quite rare, There is one, yeah. Okay, I accept. Are I'm they just... double-sided? Yeah. Well, not really. No, they're not. Okay, so some of them have that on them. It's whenever you draw the tile. That's right. So even if you don't place it, if you've drawn it out of here, your toxicity goes up. Yeah. Now, which is your toxicity marker? Because I think both have two of them. of them. You've got two types of toxicity marker. But they both look the same. Well, one's... I know they count negative points at game end. That's a good question, because it did say put the right shape on the right one. Toxicity is page 13. We'll get to that in a minute. Okay. Right. Placing ocean tiles. So when you place tiles, you will only ever place it sink side facing. Not quite sure what side that is. Oh, I think the, the colours are related to different depths, I think. Um, oh, they do, yeah. Okay. So, yeah, so, so the light, I mean, that's got to be sky because that's, that's buildings. So it's got to be that way. Yeah, it? no, it is, because the three colours relate to these three dice, yeah. which is at home what you're rolling to get resources. Right. You must place the tile flush and adjacent to one of your own ocean or starter tiles in such a fashion that it does not touch any tile belonging to an opponent or cross an opponent's boundary. And you cannot put a light blue tile next to a dark. super dark blue tile. Mm -hmm. If there is no legal placement, put it next to the, the bag. Uh, put it back in the bag. Right. So that's what you do. Um, quick note on these tiles, and I'll zoom in so you can see them a bit. There we go. But what's in the middle is the resource type. Uh, it shows what colour resource you will acquire when diving there. That's the toxicity value. Some some of them are two. Uh, and there is the the depth, yeah. which you can see from the colour of the background as well. Uh, that means that there is space for an outpost there. Uh, and some of them, ah, that's what this is. That is an artifact wedge. Oh, yeah, because when you complete a... Com yeah. Complete an artifact wedge, you get an artifact. When you complete a full circle of artifact wedges that share a colour, you've discovered a culturally significant artifact from the lost world. Yeah. Like a DVD or something. Yeah. Um, <laughs> right, okay. So that's them. Now, when you draw these tiles when you are sky side, then you will be building them that way up instead, which is a, a very different thing. Should we read that when we get to it? Yeah. yeah. Right. Scoring new tiles. And this is the bit that's wrong in the book. Right, OK. Uh, I, oh, and that's when you build a, a tile as a sky cider. So we're not going to do that yet. We're going to skip past that bit. But you will get points when you place these. Yeah. Right. So we'll come back to page 10 much later on. Now we're going to go on to the Delvers, which 
I guess he's diving. Uh, while sink side, crew cards from the Delver's Guild will allow you to dive from your skiffs to gather resources from the depths. Each Delver crew card will modify the basic dive action by giving you extra dice to roll. Uh, as you said, the three different types of dice are the shallows, the shelf and the depths. You gather your dive dice. We will use the dice rolling tray, also provided by Jason Dinger. Um, any dice indicated by your Delver card and one die for each of your skiffs that is currently on an undepleted tile. The type of die you take for each skiff is determined by the depth of that skiff tile. Then you roll the dice and you'll get stuff, which could be bad. There's toxicity on there. So you could get a bad icon. Yep. Otherwise, you'll get resources, uh, depletion markers, survivors, and other stuff. And there's an example there, but we'll probably skip that bit. Yeah. Um, and when you're sky side, you'll be rolling the orange dice. We'll read those rules when yeah. we get to it. Right. Yeah. This is going to be a learn as you go video. David's got to go, thank you. Uh, and Rene's here as well, but he's got to go as well. Thank you for joining in later on. Uh, Adam Young says he's excited about this on the premise alone. He wishes there's a two player variant. Yes, there isn't. Right, toxicity. Radiation poisoning is a very real danger for survivors. Um, you get it when diving, drawing tiles, or completing a lap on the survivor track. So going around there will get you two right. toxicity. Bad. Each time you gain toxicity, advance your toxicity tracker one space forward. Doesn't say which one that is. But whenever it reaches the last space, you advance your scoring penalty marker. Right. Right, so, so it's the top one. The top one moves along, and when it gets to there, that moves along. Yeah. So if you end the game having not moved it, you'll get nine points. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. But otherwise it'll it seems go down. fairly unlikely yeah when it reaches the last space of it track advance that and at the end of the game we well, you know there might be ways to retire it there might be all right survivors and the survivor track so you will be rescuing survivors by playing certain crew cards diving for resources gaining influence with the speakers guild uh, and when you rescue a survivor advance along the survivor track at one space and you'll either get one point a card two points or stuff um, this is the milestone space. You get two toxicity, draw a tile from the artifact bag, and choose a guild dial and increase its value by one to a maximum of four. So you get bad stuff, but you get some quite good stuff as well. Yeah. Basically. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I'm not sure what that. I mean, that's just any crew card. Yeah, that's just getting down the card. Yeah. Artifacts. We'll do that when we mention, when we, when we get to them. Um, but you, you get them when you complete an artifact ring and when you go there, and we'll explain them when we get to them, but presumably they're good. There's a ratter for two of these. Okay. I know which ones are wrong. I'll tell you when they come out. Right, sonar track. So we have sonar. At the start of the game, when the sonar track is at its first space, each sonar icon rolled on a dive die, which is that, um, represents one toxicity. Okay, but as a sky sider, whenever you assemble a circle of three tiles that form a completed sonar station, you advance it and you'll score the points underneath it. So once we are sky side and you start building these, it's not yeah. artifacts, it's that. Yeah. But what that does is that then changes the result for the people who are still sink side. Yeah. I think. Yep, sounds like it. Okay. Looks like it. Turning from sink side to sky side. Whenever you play your captain, yeah, so whenever you play your captain, you may choose to turn to the sky side and join the flotilla. There is no requirement to do this. Uh, when you do, lots of stuff happens. I assume we're not going to do that right away. So we'll yeah. probably play a couple of rounds yeah. first. Sounds okay. Objectives. You can use a transaction card and an indicated amount of currency to purchase an outpost objective tile. Oh, that's these. Yeah, so when you buy an outpost, you get an objective. Um, and you choose one of the tile stacks and score the objective printed on the topmost tile immediately. The first two tiles that are purchased from a stack are removed and set aside. The third one remains and can be purchased any number of times by players without being removed. Now, earlier on, it said you put them under your player board. Yeah. I think you just get rid of them. So let's go through the objectives that we have in play. 
Um, this one. Choose founders, delvers, or traders, and then score for each of your non-starter crew cards from that guild. 12 points. Per card. 12 points per card to a maximum of 36. So three cards in the right guild. That's so quite good. Mm. Yeah, this one is 12 points for each guild where you have two or more seals to a maximum of 36. Yeah. This one is for each resource currently loaded onto a skiff. I assume your skiff. Rather sense. than just a yeah, skiff. Yeah. <laughs> uh, four points for each good, maximum of 40. What have we got over there? And are they in the right order now? Because I flipped them over. Oh, I don't know. They are not. They're, no, in they're completely, in completely the wrong order. Wrong order. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So what do we have? What we have is for each tile featuring your most common district type, four points, maximum of thirty-two. What's a district type? I have no idea, but there's some stripy coloured. I'm blobs. guessing it's a sky side thing. Okay. Oh yeah, because they're sky side. So I'm guessing it's these colours. Yeah, they're colours. Okay. Yeah? Yeah. Uh, for each of your factories and habitats, eight points, max of 32. Right, we haven't got them yet. So there's some pictures here. It's got to be this. What? It's got to be something on this side. Yeah, oh, it's got to be there. Yeah, those okay. things. So there's okay. like icons that mean yeah. stuff. So factories and habitats. Okay, so I'm gonna, the grey one looks like a factory and the red one looks like a habitat. Um, 11 points for each of your completed sonar circles. Yep. Max of 33. So one point more for this one than any of the others. Yeah, okay. For, for, so you'd need, yeah, for, so for Max, you'd still need three completed sonar circles. That sounds like quite a tall order to me. But. Right. You have to put nine tiles out. So whilst the questions for me before we now. start. What's these spaces here? Yeah, I was wondering that. <laughs> no idea. Okay, and There's what are these for? No idea. Okay. I said, well, it's just a guess, but I think this might be some sort of multiplier on gaming scoring for particular guilds, but it is just a guess. Okay. But the square but slots. Well, those square slots, I mean, what are they? I mean, nothing, nothing, even, shape. nothing looks like it fits in dice. Artifacts. <laughs> Maybe. Artifacts, Artifacts fit in there. Oh, but okay. anyway, right. Sale and income effect. So we mentioned that each card in the bottom right has a sale value. So the captain has got a sale value of five. Um, a card sale value tells you how many spaces you may move your skiffs. For each point of sale value, you can move one of your skiffs to an adjacent tile. If you have multiple skiffs, you can divide it. And whenever one of your skiffs lands on or passes by that icon, now you can... This is in the FAQ. Okay, so it's wrong. It's wrong. Right, it's, that's wrong. It's, it's that, that icon. icon. Um, you can move any resources on that skiff into your personal reserve, yeah. which doesn't end the movement. Yeah. Uh, if you're sky side, you gain money. Yeah. Right, okay. Crew card keywords, retire means put the crew back in its box, the card back in its box. Top side is the top card. Game end, once all of the things have been taken, we get some points. Right, have we got enough to make a uh, start? I think we need, what's, what are artifacts doing then? So when we get an artifact, it's going in here, I assume. I don't know, we'll read that when we get to it. Well, because there's stuff here already, yeah. and I'm, get, I'm guessing that somehow you can fire these things, you can use these things somehow. Yeah, well generally in this game, when, you, when you cover an icon or cross you an get icon, it. you get it. Um, yeah. So I'm assuming you'd, so you're you'd put an artifact that's in there and you get three covering money. that up with an artifact and yeah, you get you nothing first, down in those first ones. Yeah, people who are in the spaces get some. Um, okay. But whether you're restricted as to which slot you can use, I don't know. We will find out. Okay. Uh, right, Brian is here. What do you think of the rule book? Found it hard to understand. Well, if if I didn't know that there was errors in here, I would think the rule book yeah. is is pretty well laid out and yeah, it's all okay. okay. It seems However, okay so far. There may be you need to look at the sure. FAQ because there's things in here that are missing. There's things in here that are wrong, and the scoring example is wrong. So therefore, I can't say that the rule book's good because it's clearly not. And Brian's saying that he tried reading it and it wasn't that clear. I mean, you read it from scratch. I, I read it, and but I didn't have the components, so it's yeah, difficult yeah, to internalize no, the rules. So I, it's, I, not, it's not fair. It's, I read, it's well written. I've read whether, whether there are yeah. gaps. Yeah, yeah. Is, is the issue. Yeah. I've read worse. Yeah. It's not a bad. 
it, it wouldn't be a bad rule book until you start playing and realise that there are things wrong with it and things missing. Yeah. So yeah, could have been better. Anyway, I think we're going to start, and we'll we'll see how we get on. Go and play your captain. <laughs> <laughs> But is it as a sort of a stalling move? Right, so I can't play that one, I can't play that one. Uh, four transactions, draw three ocean tiles and place two of them, seems like a good plan. Draw three ocean tiles and place two of them. So you're playing the founder? I'm playing the founder. So you draw three tiles out of the bag, yep. check the toxicity symbols. Yep. God, there's a lot in here, isn't there? It's going to get quite big, I think. Well, I don't know. There's 300 points to allocate. It depends how quickly they, they we work through that. It's hard to tell, I think. I I have toxicity. You know things are going to go wrong when I'm randomly drawing stuff. Do you want to pop them where we can see? Right, so you've drawn one so toxicity uh, icon, so you move your toxicity marker up. Yep. And then you place two of them. And then I place two of them, and I've no real idea which one's to place. I do have two of the same artifact. I do yeah. have two of the same artifact, and I think when you're rolling dice, you get more stuff for deeper tiles. Okay. And I can place all of those at the moment, so I think what I do. So where's your your lines there, isn't it? So I'm safe there, so I can place that one. Isn't that outside your line though? My line don't matter. Does it not? Yeah, it just means you can't move into somebody else's. Yeah. Home territory. Yeah. Okay. I think. That's the way I read it. Oliver's here. Yes, we started without you. Well, we, we've only just started, so actually we haven't started without you. Okay. So what happens to the other one? Goes back in the bag? Back in the bag. The other one goes back in the bag, I believe. So, okay. that's did you take those. your toxicity? I did. And is that it? That is your go? Um, I think so. And the relevance of the money is if you're selling the card, is that right? Oh no, you've also got two sale value. Oh, and do what that do as well? The, yeah. What do you get the money? Money if it's the other way up. That, that is sale value. Yeah. So if it was the other, if I were off Sky side, I'd be getting three money. Okay. Fully resolve the sale and income effects before you resolve the card's text ability. Okay, so no, before you've done that. I do the sailing. You do the sailing. Right. So that's well, sale. Sale as in S-A-I-L, okay. not sale as in S-A-L-E. Right, yeah. now I understand. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Because um, there was nowhere to sail to, basically, so... It's just an odd location for that on the card. I'm not sure why they didn't put it... There. There. Yeah. Should have been a bit clearer. Because if I sail, and I sail to there, literally nothing happens. You could go... <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Drop off the bread, pick up the eggs, come back here. Diving. So diving is... Delver. Five rolling two additional shallows dice. Yeah, fine. That's that's my move. So then. you've placed it. So you just you just can't place a shallow one next to a deep one. Yeah, that's pretty much the only rules. Yeah, and it's got to be next to one of your ocean tiles or your starter tile, which it is. Yeah. So yeah, you done. Right. Well, for the sake of doing something different, I'm going to do the speaker, which is gain two influence at one guild or one influence at Three different guilds. Oh dear, sorry to hear that, Matt. Hope she's okay. Uh, so, could you, what colour am I? I'm orange. Can you move my orange token one each of three? The nearest three will do. Don't really, don't really know what's what, what so yeah. Is. So I'll just take three and see what yeah. happens. And I, could, and I could sail, but um, I've nowhere to sail, so that's it. Well, ah, that's what I should have done. Just to be different, I might dive then. Well, where you are? Why yeah, not? why not? Okay, I suppose. So I'm going to play... Oh, it's depth two, I suppose, isn't it? I'm going to yeah. play this. So I dive, rolling two additional shallows dice. Yeah. So what do I dive? Let's have a look at the diving rules again. You need to collect some dice. Uh, so there's two additional shallows. Um, gather your dice to include any dice indicated on your Delver crew card which is two shallow dice, and one die for each of your skiffs that is currently on an undepleted tile. The type of die is determined by the depth of the indicated 
uh, depth indicated on that skiff style. So I get those two and that one. Right, could you pass me again? Thank you very much to Jason Dinger for all this nice box here. It is very pretty. Uh, and he's put added bounce in it as well, apparently. Yeah, I've definitely <laughs> got added bounce in. <laughs> so we need to roll them like that. There we go. Right, so what have I got? You've got a resource. I've got two barrels, which is choose one of your skiffs that is currently on an undepleted tile and add one resource barrel to that type. Can't hold more than four. So that picks up two red things because it's red on there. So I get two of these red barrels. Okay. Uh, what else have I rolled? I have rolled a depletion icon. For every depletion icon that you roll beyond the first. Yeah. So I so don't place safe. any. And um, you rolled two sonars? I rolled two sonars. Check the position of the tracker disc on the sonar track. Treat all instances of this icon as if it were the icon or set of icons on the sonar one. So I've got two toxicity you have. from doing that. That's it. Mm -hmm. That's that's me done. That that's card goes to the discard pile. Done. We'll move that out of the way. Okay. So I'm going to play a speaker, and I'm going to go three round on one track to be different. Two, <laughs> two round on one track. Two round on one track. Yeah. Two round on one track. Any thoughts on the game yet? Um, not yet. Ask us in an hour or two. Actually, I might not do that. Uh, well, my initial thoughts are it's interesting and a oh bit yeah, different. Yeah, yeah, for sure. That. And a lot of moving parts. Yeah. So what I might sure do is copy Arthur. Uh, Oh, I was going to copy you. I can't do that. Now. <laughs> <laughs> Damn it! Because then I can do, then I can get as far as I want. So, I oh, see so you mean copy that one and then play your own next yeah, turn. Yeah, right. Okay. Because then I can get to getting an extra card. Not that I know because you know that if I want one of those extra cards, but um, he's no good. I need that one. Diving reference. Here what did? What did that? Oh, that went round there, didn't it? So that gets me a resource in my. Interesting. Concordia meets Waterworld. Yes. Waterworld. Yeah, I'm or playing Kevin Costner. Or <laughs> Waterworks, as somebody posted on Facebook this morning. Yeah. <laughs> so. You get a resource, I believe. I get a resource. Take your picker. Uh, well, let's not take. What have I got here? I've got yellow, I've got blue, so let's take a red, I guess. Now, does it go on your boat or does it go on your it dock? It goes in here, I think, because it's not related to the boat. What was the card? Um, Scholar. Oh, no, it's come from here. It's Yeah. So that symbol is, is, is the Gain one resource of any type and add it to the reserve on your player board. Yeah, yeah. All right. makes so sense. That's... Makes total sense. Right. Back to me, is it? Yeah. And then I've got star movement, which I take it is none. Well, you're copying. Copying mine, which is two. Two. Which oh. you do before the thing that you've just done. Which you could do that. Yeah. Do I care? Where's your boat? I don't know. Where do you want to go? I have no idea. So mm. let's go there because it gives me options, maybe. I don't okay. Know. Okay. I'm going to do the founder. Draw three ocean tiles, place two. So I shall need the bag. Oh, and I can say it. Oh, no, I can't say it because I know where to go. Yeah, that's the problem I had. Well, I was saying I should have done that first because I could have gone there, got a tile, and then sailed to it. But two. not they really care about being on any of those tiles anyway. <laughs> so we're going to get three toxicity markers. I mean, a yes. mic. Yes. Ooh. <laughs> Ouch. Bosh, bosh, bosh. All that trouble you had finding one earlier. I know. <laughs> should have got Arthur to draw. It's usually me who draws badly. Right. Now, is there anything to choose between these? I don't see much differentiating them. Okay, so I shall pick these two. Uh huh. This goes back in the bag. What was this? What was on here? 16 stroke boat 1P1. The dock tile. Any idea? I think Brian in the Facebook chat has said he's played this game. He, he likes this game a lot, so I assume you've played it, Brian. So, what is all of the iconography on the dock style? 
Anyway, I'm done. Anyway, you're done. Mm -hmm. Nine money per. I've no so idea. So, what action is on your top of your discard pile? Oh, sorry, founder. Founder. Which is draw for tiles. Yeah, okay. Um, I was thinking of playing that one. So, I will. I'm going to play my own founder. I get two movement, so I'm going to go one, drop them off, and then go back here. Then I'm going to draw. Can I have the bag, please? Draw three out of the bag. Rick's back from his lunch break. Thank you for joining in. So one. Two. Three. So one toxicity. Now then. Uh, I'm going to place that one. So that can't be placed next to a shallow one, but it could be placed here. And then that one could be placed. Oh, that's got an outpost on it. Let's have that. So I'm going to put that there and that there. I think that's right. And that goes back in the bag. One thing puzzling me slightly is how are we going to make loads? Everything's very expensive and we haven't got much money. Yeah, but potentially I've got another eight. Yeah, million true. Actually, you, you have actually got some resources as well, haven't you? I do. Right, well, does the rest of us poor people do not. Okay. So, uh, Jonathan saying it's the prices of your skiffs when you become a Sky Sider. First player to flip gets more money. Thank you very much, Jonathan. So, that's what that is. Right, okay. So, there's an encouragement to flip early. First player to flip will get 16 money per skiff. Yeah. Wow. And how do we put skiffs out? That's, That's a, trade, a transaction a that you can do when you and play. And it costs how much to put one out? 12. Well, 12. Okay, yeah. Quite a lot. More than I've currently got. Mm. That sparked my comment. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, so, one, that is not linked to that, is it? That is it. Get a card from anywhere. Which one? Delves. That. No, that is get that card. That is get that card. Yeah. Okay. Perhaps I should have thought about that then. But whatever. And one, which gets me one money. She's not done foundries, not done speakers. And one. Right, I'm going to use the scholar to copy your card. What's the saline value of your um, two? Well, I don't know why would I want to move off this space. <laughs> <then>? <laughs> this is the problem. Oh, well, I think the thing is that it comes depleted, so maybe that's the yes, driver. Yes, they to, will come depleted as time goes on. So I'm not convinced I want to move. I will stay where I am. Um, uh, right, so I'm going to take. No, I'll take three one moves. So the ones I moved already, which is the way the orange is advanced, just move me one more space. So you get a barrel, a barrel. of your choice, a, th a tile from the bag, yeah. which you don't place, no, really? and a money. Right, so grab the money. Or do you place it? I think you do place it. If you're a sink sider, you immediately place that tile. Well, it says may, but you would. No, I'll tell you what, I could have moved then. I'll have, okay. I'll have put that one there. I'll take a green resource sorry i'd place it or not place it it says you may may place it well, probably it doesn't it. say what happens if you don't but i guess you put it oh back look no bag. toxicity that's a result i think that's a good result so is this is that the dark or is that a level two that is level two you can so tell by looking at the yeah, number here. of number of lines number of wiggly yeah, which you probably can't see on the video but it's uh, uh yeah okay so um that works for me right my go mm -hmm. Nobody else has dived yet, have they? No. Yet yeah, diving, we have not done that. So I'm going to play the speaker. I'm going to yeah. move two. I'm going to move to there. No, I'm not. No, not going to do that. I'm going to play the trader. 
I play the trader. I get two money. I can then do three transactions. Why would you buy resources? To sell. Oh, buy. Don't know. Maybe for something we haven't covered yeah. yet. Perhaps you need them for something specific. Yeah, maybe you need them for something later. Right. So I am going to sell these two. I get four each, and then it drops by two. So I have eight money. And then I spend another four to buy a skiff, which goes there. And I've got one more transaction left, but nothing else that I want to do with it. So I'll say done. I think that's right. I think each one of these is a space rather yeah. than... Yeah. Rather than that being a space. Oh, okay. I see. Yeah, that's a good point. So, yeah, so for those people who have played it before, Alan is here. Hi, Alan. Thank you very much for joining in. Uh, you're playing this for the first time tonight. Excellent. So, hopefully, so, if you watch us, you'll work out. All I'm the going we to do dive. Right. So, I'm on a. Oh, with a super diver. Uh, that's that colour. I get three of these. I get a okay, resource we, of my choice. Can we move the sonar track? So I'll take a green. Onto there. Then I roll these. Well, you've got several barrels. Right, so the barrels go on there, don't they? Yeah. And they are yellow. So you get four yellow barrels. Yeah. And you get two toxicity. That was nice and easy. So a question for those people who've played it before in the chat. How does the price of these barrels go up if we're not going to buy them? Because well, otherwise I these are just going to... There are reasons to... why you buy. Well, possibly not. We've not found it. But yeah, that's the question I'm having. We well, you buy them, they are going to go up. Ah, more. buying resources tends to be more for sky siders for building watercraft tiles. Yes, for the bit we've not seen yet. Yeah. But So there's no reason for buying resources when we're sink side. Is that right? Because otherwise these are just going to continue to drop. Yep in this part of the game. But the thing is, when, when they get to the minimum value, there's a temptation to buy them, because when you buy them, they go up in value. Yeah. Oh, and then can you sell them again? Yeah. Mm. Oh, I see what you mean. Presumably not the same turn. I see what you mean. Yeah. No, you can't buy and sell them the same turn. Not the same one, but a later turn. Yeah. yeah. So I could buy four of these now, and then it would shoot up to there. Yeah. Right, okay, yeah. You done? You got your two toxicity? You got all your icons? Yeah? Yeah. Right. Well, I'm liking it so far. Yeah, yeah, there's uh, things to do, aren't there? Not clear which is a good approach. Anyway, I am going to be diving because I think that's the only thing that makes sense to me at the moment. Oh, I'm glad you did that. <laughs> Why do you then again, to? you've dived. Yeah. I can copy that. His card's better. Yeah. Awesome. You've helped him. Yeah. yeah. Copy a sink side opponent's top side crew card. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so I am diving. So dive, rolling two additional shallows dice. Yeah. And where are you? You're in there. So that is what you're rolling. Barrel, barrel, and indeed a barrel. Barrel, barrel, barrel. I'll have uh, three barrels in. Uh, what barrels would you like? Blue? Am I actually in a legal place to die? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I think yeah, that's I the think blue resource. Yep. Yeah. So you get three of these blue barrels on your skiff. Thank you very much. Uh, right, okay. My go. So I am going to scholar, and I'm going to scholar your diver. Mm -hmm. So what does it do? Uh, you get. Oh, what's that do? That's just a dive. Oh yeah, okay. So you get three, three light then. blue. Okay, and I also get two of those. Yeah. And I get a resource of any type. Yeah. So I'll take green and that goes there. Yeah. Right, here we go. Let's see what we get. Okay, so how many barrels? Four. Yeah. Oh, hang on. Movement. One. I would. Uh, oh. <laughs> actually, yeah. No, I probably would have done that. Okay. So, so, so you're that's every, going to change your dice, though. Is everyone diving? Or? Oh yeah, it would have done. So everyone, both skips. Both Sorry, skips. I meant to do that. Because I can't have more than four barrels on there. Yeah. There you go. Mm -hmm. Right. So I've got four barrels, which I can allocate however I want. I believe. It doesn't really matter do I think oh well, you don't have to put them on the skiff that's on the the, the dice aren't 
the, the dice aren't allocated to a specific skiff, but if this skiff loads cargo, it has, it to, has be to be red. Okay, yeah. Makes sense. So I think I'm just going to do that and that. So that's the barrel icons are done. I have a survivor icon, so that moves around one, and I get a point winning. Yeah. Hmm. We have a sonar icon, which is toxicity. Not winning. <laughs> and then we have two depletion icons. So for every so depletion icon beyond the first, place a depletion marker on an undepleted tile where you have one or more skiffs. You can no longer dive for resources at a depleted tile. Yeah. Right, okay. So you put on the shallow one, obviously. Because? Because the shallow dice are not as good, I'm assuming. We suspect. Although it doesn't actually tell you that anywhere. Well, you can look at the dice. You can, but <laughs> okay. I don't know what's, what's Which means I think good or not. I think what I'll do then is I'll do that. Right. Okay. Done. So I did my movement point, I did that, and I got a yep. free thing. Right, okay, fantastic. I'll uh, be doing... I don't think the last level one ocean tile is legally placed. Hmm. Level one. Ocean tile. Uh, Brian, can you let me know what so I've got are, wrong? These are level one. Uh, that's next to a three, is that the problem? No, yes. it's next to a two. No, it's next to a two. Uh. And I haven't got any, so they're not talking about me. Okay. You must place the tile flush and adjacent to one of your own ocean or starter tiles mm -hmm. in such a fashion that it does not touch any tile belonging to an opponent or cross an opponent's boundary. And you can't place a shallow next to a deep. That's it. I so I think that's I think that's me. okay. From our understanding, it looks legal. But yeah, let me know, Brian, if I've got something wrong. Happy to move it. Uh, oh, is that in Facebook? Yeah, there's the Facebook chat here. Yeah, I can't read that. Okay. Yeah, I think we've done it, but we might not have done. We'll find out. Right, right. so You're I'm going. playing trader. So you get two money. Yeah. And you get three transactions. Sorry, four, four. transactions. So there's two of them. So what are you doing? You're selling a green, selling yeah. a red. Yeah. So, that's so I get another nine. Eight, eight money. Okay, five and four. Five and three. Oh, it, it, you get where it ends up, do you? No, it was there. Oh, sorry, because of the way I'm looking at it. Yeah, so that's that's another eight. Yeah, you know, just take those two back. Okay. So, so that's ten. That's ten. Ten. Um, give me three change. You buy the skiff? Yeah. Um, I, I'm not sure what we've been doing, but I, I think if you're selling a resource, that is a, one of the four things. A resource, that is one of yeah. them. Yeah. So, no. so, uh, so oh, we have to it? do that. It's not all resources. It's oh, it's, it's of a colour. Yeah. I don't, so buy any of one of them. But I don't think... To buy or sell a resource. Not, but yeah. But the price is no, not adjusted until right. you've done all of the... You're right. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. that's right. They're okay. The same so as um, clans. Buying and selling one resource is one transaction. But then after you've finished all of your transactions, you adjust the market track. Yeah, thank you. Oh, so if you sell two reds, that is two, two transactions. That's what I'm saying, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Fine. That wouldn't have changed what I did because no, I sold two sell things two and I had a spare transaction. Yeah. Right. Wouldn't have changed what I did because I only had two to sell. We're good. Um, so I bought a skip. I've got one transaction left. What's the other transaction I can do? Outpost. Well, for 20. <laughs> <laughs> if you have 20 money. <laughs> yeah, looks, looks like I'll be done there then. <laughs> yeah, I'm slightly tempted to do a trader action, but it's quite inefficient because I can't use all the actions. Maybe I should just play the captain. And oh, I don't think things. any of us could use all the actions when we did a trade. So I shall play the captain, rally your crew, and gain a money for each card you pick up, including this one. So I get two money. I pick up two cards. For each card you pick up from your discard pile. Oh, so you get five. It's not ones left in your. Okay, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. One, two, three, four, five money. Five money, and uh, I can do sailing, which I have to do first. Uh, what's this slash? Uh, one money That's per card that you pick up. Oh yeah, yeah. Okay, it's just the way it's expressed. Okay. Yeah. Um, yeah, and I can do a bit of sailing, so I'm going to sail back. The slash is flipped to and the I can, other side. I can, as a free action, dump off this cargo here, I believe. Yeah. Yeah. Good. That looks like more efficient. Yeah. Are you, are you carrying on moving? 
Oh, uh, oh, all right. Good point. I shall move. Hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I'm going to play speaker. I'm going to go influence here. And uh, influence here, which is a money. And influence here. And I've got two points for movement, which I should have done first, is one drop off. Also, two. Yeah. Done. There were some other things on some of the cards. What else was on the captain? I think, I think when you read it out, I noticed there was quite a lot more stuff on one of them than it actually said on the card. Was there anything else on the car on the captain no, card? No, I don't think so. There weren't a retire on the captain card. Nope. Okay. Fine. So let's play the captain, which five, gets five me. movement points first, and then five money. One. Two, five money, six money, uh, six money. Oh, yeah. <laughs> All right. Uh, yeah. So you last used a captain card. What's your top side card? The speaker. The a starter speaker. speaker. A starter speaker. Yeah. I don't think you can copy a captain, can you? Because it's gone. The captain isn't on top of the discard pile. Yeah. Yeah, okay. So I, I think I'm going to use a starter speaker. So advance me the three tracks I'm already advanced on. So card, you get a card. card. If, if you want to, yeah, you don't yeah, want to yeah, skip. Yeah, 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 no, I'll take the card. So you get three cards. Yeah, yeah I thought it was pretty strong. There you go. And well done. I could have moved, but I won't. I've got room well, I only have captain left. So I'll take captain. I've got five movement points. I'll just move to there. And then I'll pick these up. Now, I'm not sure whether I should switch. Which does mean reading a whole boatload of extra rules. Well, somebody's going to do it. Yeah, but are we going to do it now? I'm not, but... I haven't done anything yet. <laughs> no, it seems too soon. <laughs> I, I, I'm going to say no. But, you know, if we were playing this game properly and we knew how to play... If we knew what we were doing... Switching yeah. early might be a thing. Well, it does say somewhere that switching really early is a valid option, but switching late is equally a valid option. Yeah. So I'm not going to switch, because I'm just going to play another round of getting used to these rules. And then... Then I might. But not for now. Right. Here we go. Hmm. Any update on the chat, Brian? about the illegally placed tile. I think it's I think it's good. I mean I want to explore to try and complete this artifact. Likewise. Yeah. He's Have you got a I got one. Oh it's the same as mine. He's got two. Yeah you know don't you? what? Two thirds of it, yeah. I'm, yeah. I'm going that's exactly what I'm doing. To find a, an amphora, a broken amphora. Oh, I've got two movement, which are just irrelevant. Yeah, it's weird getting used to doing the movement first. Yeah. It's just where it is on you the You can color. see why, because on your first turn, you want to have got a tile out, really, before you do that. Yeah. I think, I think it's probably only really important if you're delving. Yeah. Or selling. If the selling... No, the selling is about moving. that. What you got? I got that. He's got his completed... Did you? Yeah, oh. and, and two toxicity toxicity. Oh yeah, let's have a look at your toxicity levels. So one, and then another one. So you should be on I the second assume. Slot. We assume it goes back to there, and then you take another yeah. one. Yeah. Let's do that. That's seems like three. No, no that was two. two. Well, so then it goes there, and then That's it one. automatically goes there. Yeah. When you advance the other thing. Okay. And then so it goes there. Yeah. yeah? Fine. Any other toxicity? I don't know, yeah, I haven't looked at the others, no. Okay. Your job is done. Except now we read the artifact rules. 
Can I actually get that in there? I think you're miles away from any restriction. No, it's not that line. No, no, it's that line. It's it's that line. Yeah, I'm miles away. Yeah. And that can go there. And, and that, that can go, go back, in, back, the back in the bag. Right, artifacts. Page 14. Artifacts. Whenever an ocean tile that completes a full artifact circle of the same colour, whenever you place it, uh, draw a random tile from the artifact bag and immediately resolve its discovery reward effect. Up here. Right. You found a refrigerator. Excellent. It's got one of each resource in it. I'm assuming. <laughs> okay. Yeah. And it's probably worth yeah. some money. Well. And, and it's worth three money. Flip the tile over and insert it into the appropriate slot on the hover board, such that the nearest guild dial matches the artifact's color. Now, this isn't explained anywhere in the rule book, but there is a coloured line there, very faint, but that's <laughs> blue. So you put it there, and you get one point. You're a rob, Paul. These artifacts will you, henceforth contribute to the bonuses that Skysiders collect whenever they roll the research die that feature three or more results of that artifact's colour. We haven't figured out how to do research yet, have we? No, it's when you. No, it's are it's when you're on the other side. Oh, right. Okay. If, so no yeah, artifacts, so the side of the if no artifacts have been added to the board yet, you can still gain the bonus printed on the board under the first slot. But once that slot's icon is covered, so if you hadn't done that, the research bonus would have been one point. As it is, it's one point. Yeah. If you would ever draw an artifact tile and none remain in the bag, you get four points. There we go. You're done, right. Paul. I'm done. Anybody watching in the chat, please just post a message because not getting, not had any messages through on either chat for a while, and I just want to make sure it's working. Okay, I'm going to play a purveyor who is a posh trader. Okay, or a pervy trader, it's not entirely clear which. Right, make up to five transactions. And I can also discard X other trader cards to gain X sale and X other transactions. Um, right, so five transactions. So I'm going to sell a green for, is that four? Yeah, it is four. And I'm going to sell three blue for, for another 12. 12. Yeah, so 16. 16 in total. That's four transactions. Yeah. For my fifth transaction, I will buy a skiff. That goes on the downward arrow place, I believe. Yes, yeah, so that leaves me net four. Oh, that was a fifth transaction I'm doing. I could actually theoretically do another transaction by discarding a card. What were the other things you could do? You could buy a skiff, sell stuff. What's the Message. Third? It's working. Thank you. What was the third? Uh, third buy an outpost, do? which gets you one of these scoring cards. So I'm which four. Well, I, early I, to do that. I have not so got enough money, I think. Four points. If I'd have done that earlier, that's 16 points. What is that? Four, four points for each resource currently loaded on a skiff. Oh. Right, so I'm four money short, so I'm not, I can't do that. Oh, I'm some money short. Mm. Loads of money. Um, yeah, so I won't. Is there any benefit to discard anything? Uh, it means you get one extra money when you play your captain. Is there any downside having multiple skiffs? Don't believe so. Uh, but you'd be picking up different resources, wouldn't yeah. you? So I will use the discard ability to give myself another sale. Well, I'm not sure I even need to do that. So I discard the trader. Into Which goes underneath your. Yeah, previous trader, yeah, there, yeah, so it can be copied. Okay, I'm done. So, what what's your super trader that you've got? Prevair is, is just called. Yeah, uh, he does five transactions. Yeah, and then in addition, he can discard X other traders from hand yeah. to gain X sale and X transactions. But so does he, he get any money? Uh, no. Doesn't get any money. No, he doesn't give him. No, there's the cards. Whereas the normal trader gets money. Yeah. Okay, you cool. Right, yeah. Um, but I think you're going to end up with lots of goods. I think probably getting rid of goods quicker is better. I'm going to play a speaker. Just move these dice out of the way. Right, so play speaker. I'm going to have three influence for three different tracks. I'm going to go here, rescue a survivor, which goes there and gets me any card I want. I go there and get a barrel. I'll take green. Uh, I'll then go there and take a money. Uh, 
Okay. Uh, so because I've gone on here, I take any of the cards. Oh, hello. That's quite nice. Oh, I've also got two sale points, but I'm not going to use those. Oh, it's amazing. Yeah, okay. I'm going to take this one. I quite like these cards. It's good. Right, I'm done. Pull. Facebook live stream just shut down. Oh dear. Let's try and restart it. I don't know why. It looks like it's being broadcast in two different places. Yeah. Okay, do you want to take your go? I'll try and have a look at that. Not sure why. So I get a money, I get a tile. So this tile here, is that just one, draw one from draw, the back? Draw one and put it down if you want to. Okay. Okay. Seems to be... I've got one more movement left. In, uh, no, I've done one. No, that's it. Yeah, seems to be working on Facebook. Put it down if you want to. Yeah, I'll put it down. Thank you very much. Mm, nearly got another one. Nearly got another one, yeah. Uh, I'm owed a money. Can you reach the money off? How much money would you like? One, please. There we go. Right. Thank you. And it's your turn. Yeah, oh. turns are pretty quick, aren't they? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, that's nice. Yeah, I like it. Thing. It's all right. Right, so we now have a salvager. Salvager. Um, he's basically, I believe, a better diver. So he dies, rolling three additional shallows dice. Uh, gaining one victory point for each result that does not feature a resource. So you need so I've got two of them points. and three of them. Yep. Let's get lucky. Right, so that's a resource, resource, oops. Resource and a sonar. Ooh, I'm not sure what that symbol is. Okay, so I'll have three resources. Um, green, blue. Green, I think. So you want all green? Yeah, oh yes. One, two, three. Um, they all go on the green boat because that's where they have to go. Um, so that's me three resources. Now I've got two sonar symbols. Which is two toxicity. Is it? Okay. One. When it reaches there, that goes up. Yeah. yeah. That resets that's there. Two. And this funny symbol, is that a depletion marker? Yes. Okay, I think I've got two of those. So if you get so one, that's, that's one depletion one, marker, which has to go where there is one of your ships. Okay. Well. And yes, Matt, I'm not wearing one of my new shirts. I've only got two of them. It's not replaced my entire wardrobe. So we'll deplete there. Not surprising, that's where I took all the resources from. And I've got uh, one, two tiles, that two, two dice that did not show um, uh, resources. So that gives me two victory points. Oh, okay. There you go, have two points. I'm off the bottom, as it were. That's me done. Right. So. No, I'm regretting doing that. Discard now, never mind. How much movement is that? It's got no movement on it. No movement at all. Kind of want to dive. You've got a good diver, haven't you? Yes. Like no that, movement. Well, it's, I don't know. Um, compared to the. Yeah, you get, well, you've got rolls on more dice. Annie has this size. Oh, uh, yeah, okay. Yeah, I got. I think mine. My, I think I prefer mine. Well, swap then. <laughs> uh, is yours the one that allows you to get rid of other divers? Or does yours. 
get rid of Everdell? Discard of the Delvers. No, no, no. No, that was a different card. That was a different card. It was the Purveyor. You discard okay. traders. Um, yeah, I think I'm going to go Delving. It's just, do I go Delving with my own Delver? No, no, I'm going to go for something completely different. I'm going to play... Oh, no. Where's the cadet do? Oh, this is my new one. Let's do this one. Draw and place three ocean tiles. If none of them are adjacent, get two points. Because I've got one point, you've got two. So I need to get back in the lead. <laughs> <laughs> right, so tile number one. Toxicity. Tile number two. No toxicity. Actually, the one thing I'm... I'm not liking at the moment is, is this toxicity thing because it just seems to purely randomly yes randomize yeah. you yes. yeah it is a bit there may be a way of dealing with it we don't know but it is a bit random so i get two two toxicity and i'm placing all three and if none of them are adjacent i get two points uh, -huh. uh which i can't do correct no oh uh, you have to place all three do you i have to place all three uh, yeah i doubt you can do that i mean one can go here uh -huh. And one can go around there and then you don't. And one can go here. But yes. And I drew no artifacts. That's the... <laughs> well, we, as we know, they're rare, aren't they? They, they are. <laughs> <laughs> you know. That's the man who drew all of them. Right. Uh, oh, I had three movement points before that, but I forgot to move the three, so done. Gonna have to stretch out a bit. What is the difference between these dice? Tom's here. Hello, Tom. Thank you for joining in. I mean, is that worse or better? I don't know. <laughs> I think it's probably better. So I'm assuming deeper is better. So let's let's play that one and move that one to there. Yeah. Do I want all that yellow? That's the trouble. Hmm. Um, so that's going to get me one of those, one of those, three of those, and a green resource. Pass me a green resource, please, Paul. Ah, oh, I've missed a trick. I could have bought another skiff, didn't I? Green. Oh, you're 12. Yes. Right. What you got? So that's a depletion. Yep. Okay, no other depletions, so that one's. Irrelevant. Four barrels and two toxicity. Four barrels and two toxicity. And a survivor. So two points. Uh, well I guess I'll put four barrels on that one. What colour? Oh, green. Crack. <laughs> the market's going to crash. <laughs> so four green barrels and what was it, two toxicity? Yeah. Four green barrels uh, on here. Oh yeah, two toxicity. Done the toxicity. The barrels are going on there. Yeah. Let me some movement. Okay. Okay. You're all done. Yeah, I'm done. So, Paul, your yep. card has it got any movement on it? Three. Yes, and it's draw. It's, 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 it's a draw three and place three, and if none of if them are adjacent, which, which we get I'm two quite points. Quite likely to be able to achieve. So I think I'm quite tempted. So I shall play the scholar. To scholar copy to copy that. my cadet. I've got three movement, so I'll return to base. Um, and this guy can move one more to yellow. Um, and I'm drawing three tiles. Three again. tiles. One. Just three. <laughs> Two, Ooh. three. So I got one toxicity. Yeah. Um, right. This one needs to go somewhere around here. And that one needs to go somewhere out of the way. And that one could go over here for example. 
Now, I'm wondering if you've got the three player set up right because I've got loads of space and you mind you've got the same you're on the same is it is in this constraint? It's in, yeah. Uh, right, okay, so that was three placed. I, I, oh. None of them none of were adjacent. I'm wondering if you should have gone there in a three player setup. Well, we, we are, well, we, we are, are I think. Yeah. It yeah. hasn't affected me yet, but it is going to. Well, you can expand infinitely in that direction, but there's further to get back to base, I suppose. Yeah. Uh, but I get two VP, I believe, because I didn't place anything connecting. Yeah, I'm more restricted than either of you two, that's what I'm just realising. I don't know that it's going to affect me that much, but. Attach your starting tile to the edge of the hub board within easy reach of you, leaving an equal margin of space between your tile and your neighbours. That's not what you did. Other players cannot place tiles that would cross your imagined yeah. lines extending outward. For yours to be equal, it would have had to have been in there, so wouldn't it? I should have started. It makes no difference, no. It just means I got more space. No. Rotate it. Well, it goes there. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay. I'll just, I'll just do that. Yeah. There you go. Right. <coughs> We've shuffled things around a bit. Yeah. I've got more space for this. And we're not actually able to put a tile in there, are we? Because we're going to be touching another player's no, tile. No, that's fine. I it, that it's was just, it's no, just. No, no, I understand that. But it was, it was, oh. Wasn't there also a constraint not to touch other people's tiles? I thought there was. I think you. I do seem to vaguely remember you saying that. In such a way that it does not touch any tile belonging to an opponent. Right. Yeah, or cross an opponent's boundary. Yeah. Right, okay. Oliver's got to go. Thank you very much for dropping in and for all the support. Okay. Do you Me. Right. Diver. Although this is looking quite good. See, this transaction now is, is a bit of a problem <laughs> with it being I'm aware. one transaction <laughs> per per Action. thing. Um, yeah, I mean, it was a bit silly before because you just basically crashed the market. Yeah. For almost no cost to yourself. Yeah. Now I could buy blue. But that just makes it better for the people selling it. I think you should buy blue. Mm. I think you should buy yellow. You haven't got any blue. You haven't got any resources. <laughs> well, I'll arrange to get some. Yeah. <laughs> so. Oh yeah, uh, yeah. Sorry, when I went in there, I meant to drop those things off. Yeah, yeah. yeah, that's fine. Okay, that's I'm going to play trader. So we get two money. I'm going to make up to four transactions. Transaction number one is to buy a skiff. Yeah. Transaction number two is to sell green. Transaction number three is to sell green. Gets me eight money, and then that goes down by two. Five. Take ten. Get two back. Uh, done. Very simple. Mm. This is zero. That's a trouble. Isn't it? Yeah. I'm going to do a trader as well. Two money. Yeah, let me just wait to see if this works out a minute. What's under that tile? What's under what tile? That one there. This one. What's the next one down score? Three. It's only a loss of one point. And then two. Yeah. Well, it's to a maximum of 36. Yeah, but as I'm opposed not to even close to. Well, it's not just one point, it's one point per good. For each resource currently loaded onto a skiff. Yeah. And we're, we're ruling it that it's loaded onto one of your skiffs. Yeah, obviously. Well, it might not be, but it should be. Yeah. I'm not going to do a trader, I have that money back.
I'm going to do a Dover. So I get one of them, one of them, two of them. So I've got barrel, 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 barrel. So I've got four barrels. So I guess I'll be having four yellow barrels. Four yellow barrels? Yeah. I'm actually going to separate these into smaller things. I'm getting one of them. So I'll do that in a second. Uh, two of them. So I'm getting three of them. Jesus. Three toxicity. One, two, three. And two toxicity. <laughs> <laughs> so five toxicity. Wow. <laughs> Don't know what that did. Forget, forgot what all that Two was. Two toxicity. Yeah, I've done that. And an artifact. Okay. And a something else. All right. I think it's one round one of these. Oh yeah, it was. I'll just check. I think it was. Oops. Right. So five points. Five points? Five points. What from? Right, there's another one in there which is two, which should be five. Okay. Okay. So then this one's going there. So the vinyl records, so yeah. So. A kind of Bob Dylan LP. Uh, bag of tiles, please. Is that the tiles you want? Yeah. Because I got that. Okay. So why are you taking the tile? Because it says take a Because it says no. That's that's now the bonus for doing something. You got that. You don't get that as well. Well, you so he's covered up something. That gives no, it doesn't matter. That's oh yeah, it's not that. Okay. Just like you didn't get the point for that. Okay. Um. Right. So the other thing was move one of these round. Uh, yeah, I think that was it. Um, survivor track. Choose a guild dial and increase its value by one. Just, oh no 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 no! It's this. Well, what does that do? We don't know. Shall <laughs> we skip ahead of it? Well, I think they're multipliers on. So the guild maybe. dials. That's why it's shaped like a. Right. A dial. I thought it was shaped like a water drop. Probably right. The number of employees you've got. So, the guild dials is used for when you build an ocean tile when you're sky side. And what you do is you score A times B. A is the value of the district's matching guild dial, plus one per building of that district's type on the entire watercraft. And B is the total number of tiles of that district colour that are contiguously connected to the new tile. So it increases the value of, of building particular buildings of a certain colour later on. Okay, well this is not that one, as it's nearest there. Let's just What's do the one. effect of toxicity, says Matt? Basically mm -hmm. negative points. Negative points and oh, I'm yeah, collecting it in ma en masse. <laughs> Basically you penalise for exploring. Yes. Yeah. Mm. I'm going to be up to minus six any minute. One more toxicity and I'm minus six. Speaking of exploring, I'm sending up my sailor. We should draw three tiles and place three ocean tiles. And then in addition, I can discard X founders to draw X additional ocean tiles. So I discard a founder. So I'm drawing four and playing three. So I should get lots of toxicity out of that, in my expectation. Yeah, I kind of wanted an artifact here, but I'm one. very lucky. Ooh, one toxicity. Is a toxicity. <laughs> <laughs> Two. Oh, it's not toxic. Three. Aha, I'm looking for that. Four. So draw four, place three. Yeah. Uh, well, one toxicity done. Um, I'm, oh, does it matter? It might matter. I'm going to place a red one there. Now that gives me an artifact, I believe. Um, and then I'm going to place another one. Let's say it's that one. Oh, I'll do it too far away. 
And the third one, um, did I start another one of those? Maybe that's not wise. There. Ooh. Right, so that's three placed. One goes back in the bag. I've gained an artifact, I believe. Oh, and I, I can do a bit of sailing as well, which I should have done before. I do apologize. Um, I think I want to do. There. Um, artifact. So, so I wasn't really paying a lot of attention. So I, I draw this. Draw yeah. that. You get whatever's printed on the front. Six money and some points. Six money and three points, if it's that side. Yeah. Yeah. It's got a little blue symbol on it. Have a look. Six money. Yeah, it just means it's an artifact. It's the UN flag. Oh. We found the UN flag. And you flip it over and it's yellow, so it goes here. Is it three points? It was six million three points. Six point two take five. How are you people finding artifacts? And the fact that it's covered up doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Yeah. It's, just, it's replaced whatever was there with that, which is the same. Exactly. same. Which is the same. I don't see why that is. Anyway, there we go. Done. Now you've got a normal delver. Yeah. But the delver is no movement. That's the problem. Yeah. What's the movement on your card you've just played, Arthur? Four. 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 And Mike's four. four. Well, I've got my own. I might do this one. I'm going to play a founder. I've got two movement points. I'll go one, two. Uh, and then I'm going to draw three tiles and put two back. Come on, toxicity. <laughs> So one, two, it's the wrong colours, three. Okay, so no toxicity. And, uh, so that's going to go there, obviously. I might put this one here. And then I'll just put that back in the bag. Done. Trader. So two money. Hang on to it. Okay. So there's two money. Yep. Um, one, two, three. Four transactions. So there's nine money. That's nine. Plus the two you've got in your hand, that's 11, 11. money. Plus one is another skiff. 12 money, yep. 13 money, 14 money, 15 money, oh. 20 money. Oh, it's an outpost. Take that one. That's um, 24 points. Yeah. Okay, and then I think you just get rid of that. Okay. So you take 24 points. Yeah. Have you got a, a one? I have got a one. Right. Mm. There we go. We have our first outpost. You, you put it on the board. Well, oh. I am, but there's four. How I many? What's the max on that one? Where's, oh. where's your outpost going? Oh, well, it's got to go over there somewhere, isn't it? There, I guess. Yeah, on your territory. Stick it on there. Okay. It's the only spot available for one, actually, I think. B's here. Thank you for joining in. So perhaps that was Rash doing that. Right, don't I don't know. Rash gained 24 points. I'm not convinced. <laughs> well, I could have got 40, but uh, when there's, what I'm saying is I've got no other spots to do it again. Yeah. Right, because you only got one outpost placement. Yes. Yeah. Remember, you can spend 10 extra to put it on the seat. Yeah, well, I'm really going to do that. I can only just afford to do it at all, let alone spend extra to do it. So I've got four, but I don't expect I'll ever be using them. Yeah. Not all of them. All right, now, you've got the same quandary here as you have in Concordia, really. Um, do when, I, when do to I pick, pick up, up yes. or do I go pay this slightly poorer yeah. delving action? Um, I think I'm going to pick everything up. So rally. Rally your crew and gain one for each card you pick up, including this one. So one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight money. Mm -hmm. And are you switching roles? Yeah, that's a more interesting question, isn't it? No, not for now. It's a wise decision, I think. I still want to because I don't really understand what happens. Well, I think you want a variety of resources before you do it, which is why I've... Do you? Well, okay. from what they were saying earlier about you need stuff to build stuff. Well, you just buy it. 
Oh, okay. You go get the money. Possibly. I don't know. Who knows? Who knows? Who knows? That's why I'm, I've done that. I'm going to delve, and it's 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 a simple delve with a with a simple simple de delver. But I have these, so I get a dark one, a medium one, and a light one. Okay. Let's see how much radiation we can find. Boingy, boingy, boing. Right. Ooh. Ah. No toxicity, but I've drawn three depletions. So that's two depletion markers on the board, I believe. Because it's, yeah. it's what beyond the first, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. Everything so goes. I'm going to deplete. Oh, yeah, this territory is depleted. Actually, I'll deplete it? that one. Yeah. And I'll deplete that one. And I found one, two, three, four, five, six things. So I'm going to find. But you can only put four out. Yeah, I've got. But you've depleted. Oh, shit. Well, the depletion goes on afterwards. Okay. So well, I wonder why you were putting it on first. That's what I'm saying. Well, if you deplete it first. Well, you have to work through the dice. I'll have one, two, three. Oh, it's just like any order. So, yeah, it's four, up to you. But So don't put the depletion on first. Five. Six. Done. No, that's not bad. Found no toxicity at all. Yeah. Oh, I've just realised something. Can we just recap what? Because I can't read those objective cards from over here. This one. Objective. So you choose either founders, delvers, or traders. Yeah. And then you score twelve points for each non-starter crew card that you have from the guild that you choose. Okay. And the next one. This is twelve points for each guild where you have two or more seals. So where you've been round the thing <laughs> twice. Okay. And this is for resources on skiffs. Okay. Yeah, let's do it. Rally my crew. I get five movement. One. Two, three, four. That's a lot of resources. Five. I get six money. Put it up there. I get my cards back. I'm flipping. You are right. So we have a. We're going to pause we because we have a whole host no more. Idea. It was a good idea, but I. I, from something somebody said earlier, I got the idea that a variety of resources when you're doing the other side right. was a good idea. So, so I've got a variety, so let's go for it. We have a lot more rules to read. The first one is page 15, turning from sink side to sky side. So whenever you play your captain, you may choose to turn to sky side and join the flotilla. No requirement to do this. You can do it at any point in the game on your very first turn or your very last turn or any time in between or not at all. Right. So join the flotilla. Take the following steps as printed on your reference card. Joining the flotilla. Pick up your skiffs from your ocean tiles and sell each of them for the value printed on the docks tile. See, I was about to do that. So you get 32. Yeah. Okay. The later you join the flotilla, the less your skiffs will be worth. Move any resources that were on your skiffs into your supply. Then, pick up each of your non-starter tiles with outpost markers on them non-starter tiles with outpost on them okay return those outpost markers to the box none right. of them none pick up all of your remaining ocean tiles oh i'm not sure this was a good idea flip them over to their sky side and add them to your reserve i don't know if this was a good idea well, you've done it now it's a learning game <laughs> <laughs> you're doing you're wonderfully cool exploring the system first. put them in a stack we can avoid by your making your mistakes that's fine <laughs> Flip over all of your crew cards to the other side. Yeah, I've done, done that. Flip your starting tile over to its sky side, leaving it attached to the hub board at its same location. If your starting tile had an outpost on it, set that outpost aside and place it back on your starter tile's construction site after you flip it. So it goes back there. Oh, oh okay. You may build a number of ocean tiles from your reserve up to the applicable number printed on the docks tile. That's this one, is it? One. 
Yeah. Okay. Uh, the later you join the flotilla, the more tiles you will be able to build. For example, if you were to say, yeah. Okay. For more information yeah. on building tiles, see page 10. Right. Page 10. Here we go. So building an ocean tile when you are sky side. Choose a number of tiles from your reserve up to the amount indicated. So you can do one. Pay the resources indicated in the cost. Let's just have a look at your tiles. Right. So I've got a cost of three yellow, a cost of four yellow, a cost of... That's the cost. Four blue. Yeah. A cost of four green, a cost of three blue. So my variety of resources is a bit short on blues. <laughs> yeah, blues not good. I'm more of green, green and yellow. Oh, Were, was there any indication? No. Yeah, it's the same resource. Uh, yeah. Yeah, but there's okay. no indication of how many. Is there? No. <laughs> it looks like it could be up to four. Per tile. Place the built tiles adjacent to other tiles that you control, such that they do not cross, uh, do not touch any of your opponent's tiles or cross an opponent's boundary. You're not forced to connect the tiles by matching colour, and you may place water adjacent to watercraft however you like. And presumably gets a benefit for connecting up these circles. Yeah, then there is scoring newly placed tiles, which is the bit that's wrong or misleading. So right. at this point, we'll have to look at BGG. But it says, when you build a tile as a sky sider, score A times B. A is the value of the district's matching guild tile, plus one per building of that district's type on the entire watercraft. See sky side tile reference. Right, OK. A can never exceed four. Yeah, so I would have been better off flipping, moving a different dial if I'd known what was on the backs, but I didn't know what was on the backs. But no. I could have looked before I put them down. Well, no, you knew what was on the backs. It's that colour there. No, 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 not that. This. Oh, right, yeah. Because that relates to that dial. Yeah. That relates to that dial. Yeah, that's the blue one. That's the green one. So you, you knew that that was green. You just didn't know if it had one of those symbols on it. Okay, that. okay. The total number of tiles of that district colour that are contiguously connected to the new tile without any breaks. So that's B. So A is the dial yeah. plus the number of those symbols, yeah. which can't exceed four. And B is the total number of tiles of that district colour that are contiguously connected to the new tile without any breaks. Yeah. Uh, and you get points. Yeah. OK. So watercraft is a graphical feature representing the, the new areas that you're... Yeah, so this is watercraft and this is water. Basically, you don't have to match. You don't have to follow the artwork along. Right, I think that's right. Uh, has anybody turned Skyside? Not yet. No, literally, Paul's doing it right now. Realising that it probably might have not been the best thing to do, well, actually, as it's going, but whatever. Because... <laughs> Didn't quite realise about the, how the resources were going to get swallowed up so dramatically. So spend one thing, spend spend resources and build one tile. Yeah, and then score points for it. So you do it one at a time, one, one at a time. Well, I can only do one. Yeah. Oh, because you're yeah. Because okay, I'm yeah, on yeah, the top yeah, 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 yeah. You, well, presume, Next person gets two. And presumably, I'm now going to check BGG for the bit that was not clear. Now, where was it? Oh, actually, no, that doesn't make any sense. Am I better off? What are the objectives there? 11 points for each of your completed sonar circles. Eight points for each of your factories and habitats. Well, I've got no... Is well, that's a factory. Habitat stroke factory. No, that's... How do you know, know what each one is? Well... Is Looking at the picture, I'd say that's a factory and that's a habitat. I have no at, idea what these can't are. Just look at pictures. Surely it should say somewhere. I think it was on the back page of the FAQ. I looked at it. There is a, a list of icons, but I don't. Oh, hang on. Yeah, green, greenhouse is the is that one? Yeah. So it is from the picture. Um, that's a greenhouse. So that's a habitat. That's a factory. The habitat is a red thing. Yeah. And the factory. It's blue. Well, it's not brown, but yeah. <laughs> What's that? Yes. I don't know what that is. Harvester uh, or something. Refinery. Refinery, okay. And these are associated with the guild. For each tile they? featuring your most common district oh, type. The dealer has been errated. So when we get to the dealer, if we've got the dealer, it's been errated. Right. I had forgotten about that. Um, 
Your most common district type. What did we say that was? Oh, literally the colour of the soil. I think so, yeah, that's the district. <laughs> so I'm wondering whether I should be spending resources at all while yellow's that cheap. And whether I should be spending money while yellow's all down there. Right, so the process for building is build a tile and pay the cost. Find the highest scoring watercraft district that this tile created or added to. Score that district. Do not score any other watercraft added to or created with this tile placement. And then if the action allows it, build another one by starting back at point one. No, actually, I think I do this one. Okay. That's what that I think correct. I do. So you immediately score when placing it. But the designer has said, I can see how the spacing and phrasing could be a bit misleading. I'll make sure this is added to the FAQ. Yeah, so I'll put a yellow there and I'll spend six money. You can you can pay money instead of... I'm buying the resources. resources. You can buy resources at this time, can you? No, don't think so. Who said you can buy resources? Oh, you've got to do a trade to get the resources. Yeah, I would have thought so. Yeah, yeah okay. You just spent three yellow. Yeah, I don't know that's a good idea. Well, who knows? Yeah. Well done, Paul. Okay. Yeah, Exploring okay. And now when it's your turn again, we've got some other stuff to go through. All right. And, and to be clear, you're still winning. <laughs> well, I didn't know about that. <laughs> Did he get his points for placing that? No. But it wasn't very many. That's what I'm saying. It probably wasn't a get great the plan. So it's A times B. A is one. one. And B is one. Yeah. One times one. Do you want one? One point. Yeah, yeah that's what I'm saying. It was quite expensive <laughs> to do that. Well, there's not much else you could have done. No. So could well, no, no, what yeah. I'm saying is not, not flipped at that point is what I could have done. Yeah. I could have gone around and got some and, more and, resources. And presumably they're sitting in your reserve waiting for you to play more of them. I think that is right. Yeah. People who've played it before right. will hopefully help so us So let's out. have a read of the orange sides then. If we get stuck. So having had this revelation, I think I'm going to do some more diving. Um, having said that, what was your last card? It was the Delver. The base, the base ordinary. starter Delver. Okay. We shall try the Salvager. Salvager rolls three additional Shallows dice. Okay. And I'm also sitting on here, so that gives me a another shallow and a Oh, that's interesting. Oh, that's much better. Okay. They're, they're probably all interesting. But I haven't got time to look at those. <laughs> <laughs> Too busy diving. Right, we got one, oh my god, one, two, three, four, five barrels. Uh, that means I'll get no victory points. Um, and I'm on yellow, so they're all yellow. So I need five yellow, or the tray. Five yellow. Yep. <coughs> and I've also got one, no, damn it, two depletion markers. Two depletion so icons. So something, one something depletion. is depleted. Okay, yeah. so I'll deplete. But no toxicity. That's good. Well, first time. <laughs> uh, right, a depletion marker. Where have they gone? Uh, there. I'll deplete this one. What's the movement on that card that you've just zero? zero. <sighs> I think the diving cards tend to have zero. Mm. You've got to get in position yeah. on a previous one. That's right. Salvaging done. Right. In which case, I was... So me playing a scholar, I can't copy yours. I could copy that. What's the bonus again? If you draw... Uh, for every dice that does not generate a resource, you gain a victory point. Hmm. How do you get points when you're sink side? Over there. Oh, the biggest points. Over there. Yeah. yeah. By placing an outpost. Yeah. Just getting money and placing an outpost. Okay, I'm going to play the scholar then, and I'm going to copy your card. So it's no movement points, but now I am diving. So what was it? Three. Um, three normal ones. Yeah. And then one of each for me. Let's 
see what we get. Okay, so for everyone show, not showing a barrel. Correct. Okay, they've all got barrels. Yeah, that's my issue as well. Okay, so I have three sonars, which is three toxicity. One, two, three. I have one survivor, which is a point. Found a bloke. Seen a survivor here. Yeah. That. And then one, two, three, four, five barrels. No, sorry, one, two, three, four, five, six barrels, which is exactly the maximum that I could have. How convenient. Okay, done. You're there. Okay, right. So, do we need to read any extra stuff, or are you okay? Not for a minute. Okay, we will, but not yet. Gain two influence with one guild. Yeah. That was one. That's one. All oh, right. Okay. Because that goes there. Yeah. Which gets me a card from over here. Okay. Which will be that one. Yeah. And then it goes on to there, which gets me another card from there. Yeah. Okay. And then draw up to three ocean tiles. And, and discard, discard that, that many from, from your reserve. reserve. Okay. So I can swap out the ones that are no use to me. Yeah, okay. Like the ones that I haven't got the resources for. So it's draw three, or yeah. draw up to three. Draw up to, well, I'm going to draw three. Okay, add them oh, to your hand. Yeah, I guess you can do this one at a time, maybe. Will you get toxicity? There's no toxicity on this side, is there? Well, uh, well, hmm. <laughs> well, actually, thematically, that might be okay. I think that's, I think it was mentioned somewhere. Vaguely in the back What's of the my card? head. What's the card? The speaker? Well, yeah. It's not the speaker, is it? Yeah, it's, it's the, the speaker. speaker. But it's the Skyside speaker. I haven't turned my board over, have I? There you go, I turned your board over. So. Yeah. It says whenever you draw an ocean tile, check it for toxicity. Well, it's not an ocean tile, it's a sky tile. Well, it says, note, still an you ocean take tile. the toxicity shown on all tiles you draw, regardless of how many of them you keep. You also take to toxicity as shown while sky side. There you go. Okay. Even though the toxicity, toxicity value is only printed on the tiles sink side. Go. Right, fine. <laughs> See, it's all there. Matt's got to go. Thank you, Matt. And yes, he says, just Paul does need to flip his player board, which he's doing now. How different is it? Well, uh, they're gone. Yeah, you don't need the skips anymore. Things are basically more expensive. Yeah, you've now gone sky side. Let's get rid of these boats. Okie dokie. So is it my go? Um, no, I'm drawing tiles. Oh, still. Okay. Um, where did I put that one? No, no. Uh, I'm going to draw. I'm going to draw two. And get rid of those two. Think. We'll draw your new ones first, add them to your hand. Oh, you might want that one actually. Well, you don't know what you want until you yeah, see what you draw, draw your new ones first. Okay. So I, can, so I can discard the ones I've drawn if I want. Check for toxicity. Yeah, two. Two. <laughs> two. Mm -hmm. Okay, and then add them to your hand, and now you can get rid of. Two tiles. Or you must now get rid of two tiles. Yeah, yeah, not much weird, is it? All points. Uh, let's get rid of those two, I think. Ooh. You done? Yeah. Uh Right. Oh, should I have? Oh, yeah, no. I'm no that's here. interesting. Presumably, I can't copy his card because I am not a sky side. Yeah, yeah, your your copying card says it copies a sink side opponent's top side mm. crew card. So, what is your he, the scholar? So you can't <laughs> copy the scholar. Can't copy the scholar. Mm. Okay, shan't do that then. Uh, instead, I think I'll do a bit more diving. So my delver jumps over the side of the boat. Uh, dive. Roll two additional shallows dice. Plus a shallows and, and a, a medium shelf. Gonna load up these boats. Three barrels. 
uh, which are all obviously yellow, and that's exactly what I can carry. Uh, one sonar and one depletion. So the depletion doesn't do anything. No, the sonar is a toxicity. So it is. Damn it. Thank you very much. There's that, and there's that. I've got no movement, no surprises there. Well, I only have one card in hand, and it is the captain. So I get myself one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven money. Do I want to flip? You might want to know what's on the back of tiles first. I don't think I do want to flip because I, I kind of had a plan. I mean, if I get this now, that is 36 points. Yeah. So, yeah. No, I'm not going to flip. Yeah, and in a three player game, this is an issue. Why? Because now I've got a card that's completely useless. Or if you flip, Arthur's got a card that's completely useless. Okay. Have I? Yeah. The skull. Yeah. Yeah, but you just. Oh, I see you, what you mean. Yeah. yeah. You're basically missing out on advanced actions from other people. If. if yeah, which I see as an issue, and really, in, is, a, is a three player game. I think it would probably be, if, it, if I knew the game, I'd probably say that I would only play it before. Well, maybe that would encourage me to flip, so. Yeah. Well, uh, maybe. Anyway. Uh, Nilsson's here. How's it going so far? It's going okay. I think we've got to grips with the rules. Uh, Paul has flipped. Well, I think I'm going to play this one. Which, if you don't know anything about the game, might, won't make any sense. But <laughs> uh, So I get one. One, that's going to get me a barrel. One, that's going to get me a card. One, that's going to get me a card. Why did you move four? Did you move four? Oh, bureaucrat. It's a better. It's a better so you get that card. Yeah. You get that card. Yeah, and I get a blue resource. You get a barrel. <coughs> oh, I'm jealous now. There you go. Um, yeah. They're any good. They are, they are better cards, aren't they? Yeah. Okay, so I am going to play a speaker who will do a less good version of that turn. Uh, so I'll just have the three so rounds that I've been progressing so steadily. Two money and a point, one tile out of the bag, and one barrel. And a point. Oh. A barrel. Which may Take really everything back, I said. Good. Well. There Sorry, are some cards that get boosted by other players being on the other moving. side. Ah. You get a tile? Yeah. Uh, no toxicity. She got the uh, red. You didn't flip. I think I've got another one of those going, haven't I? No, I didn't flip. Yeah, that's nice as well. Well done. Yeah. Well, I'm going to play, because I've just got enough money. Oh, should I have got five money? I should, shouldn't I? Yes. And two money. Gosh. Aha. Now I see how this site works. Yeah. Right, I'm going to play the trader. I get two money. I'm going to make four transactions, but my first transaction is to buy an outpost using the two money that I I got. Oops. They go there, they go there, that goes there. I buy this outpost, which I can put here, and I take this, which is 36 points. And what does that leave? Uh, two points per resource, so 20 <laughs> to a max of yeah, don't worry about that. <laughs> Max of 15. <laughs> are there any fives? Uh, no, I don't. Yeah, there are. We're going to have to swap that for oh. four fives. Oh, five yeah, I saw, some, I saw somebody complaining about that. No, well, there are fives. Yeah, no, but they were complaining there's no tens. Yeah, there are. There's ones, fives, and twenties. No yeah, it's all right. There's twenties. It's fine. So I'm taking how many? 36. I think I think the big one is spiky. Uh, in actual fact, their complaint was nonsense because I think they complained that it was ones, fives, and twenty fives. Yeah, which is not. Which is not. <laughs> it's ones, fives, twenties, <laughs> and fifties, and a hundred. So I've done that. I've done that. I've built me outpost. That was my first transaction. I guess I want to sell these, but actually, I don't think I do. 
because of what's come in? Okay, so the other two objectives that are left on the sink side. Guild there. seals, but when you've yeah, gone so not, all the way not, around. Not, not all and oh, people, is it? Crew, crew cards. Crew yeah. cards of non, one, non one of the guilds. Non-starter, one non guild. Non-starter, non-speaker. Mm. Okay. That's three money, please. We're running out of ones. Who's got, I've got loads ones? of ones? Do you want to give Paul three of them and give me two? Well, I've got loads of ones. <laughs> um, so that's gone round there. That's gone past. So I so put, put the seal there. Yeah, yeah I'll do. Done? Yeah. Mm. She's going to be trading. What's the one you just used, Paul? Uh, trader. Base trader. Base trader, yeah. Yeah, that's not so good. Okay. Um, all right, I shall do the purveyor. Right, five transactions. And I can discard traders for more actions and some sailing. I should have done that first. Um, okay, so the five. Um, so I'm going to sell three green for nine. Yeah. And I'm going to sell a red for another. So that's 12. Actually, no, sorry, no, no, no. Put that back. I'll, I'll just sell the three green for nine for the minute. Um, and then I'm going to top that up to 12. So my fourth transaction is buying another skiff, which has to go there. And I think I'll buy another, my fifth transaction will be buying another skiff. Yeah. Which goes there, like so. And I think it's worth buying an outpost because I'm going to be getting points significantly out of it at this stage. Um, so I could discard a trader to get a sale. Um, so I guess I should do that. Let me trade a run. So to talk, discard a trader, that gives me another sale. Um, and I'm going to sale this one. I mind you, it's full, so it doesn't really help. I'll sell this one here. Okay. Hold on. Yeah. Hmm. Well, I'm going to play this cadet. I'm going to draw three. Oh, I've got three movement points first. So I will move. Um, <coughs> <laughs> I'll move to there, drop off these resources, then move to there and there. So that's three movement points. I'm then going to draw three and place three, and if none of them are adjacent, I get two points. Two points doesn't seem. We have toxicity, obviously. And we have no toxicity, and we have the wrong coloured artifact. And we have no toxicity and no artifact. Rats. Well, I am going to be able to place these. So this one can go. It can go there. This one can go there. And this one can go here. So I place to them not adjacent. So I get two points. Oh, and there's one, two, three. Four, five, ten, twenty. Done. Not finding these artifacts. Um, what happens when I complete a sonar circle? This moves up. And you get 14 points. Okay. So let's do this. Oh. Let's try this, as we haven't done it before. 
Is this the building? No, this is roll five research dice. Oh, right. Okay. I can re-roll one, re -roll one. And if the colours match, I get to do stuff. Research reference. Uh, yeah. So when playing a Delver as a Sky Sider, you roll a certain number of research dice and then you manipulate. Take those out of there for me. You can manipulate and resolve them. So. Is that five? Oh, I can't see that. Yeah, one. that's five. Right. So the money in the circle is, is currency. So you get six, ten, you get eighteen money. Hang on, I can re roll any of them once. Oh, okay. So that, that's money. Yeah. The handshake or the blue, that moves you up. If you roll three or more dice showing like coloured guild icons, yeah. you have discovered knowledge pertinent to that matching guild and will receive its bounty. Immediately gain the bonuses printed on all of the artifact tiles that have been slotted into the central board near that guild's dial. Right. That's interesting. This symbol That's if you roll three. This symbol yeah. doesn't correspond. And that is wild research. Oh, One okay. facing on each die does not contain a guild icon, but instead yeah. a wild. After you roll your dice, you may choose which colour you would like this die to count as. Right. I guess which yeah. guild rather than which colour. Yeah. I think that's what it is. So means. what is that? What is that? What is that benefit? That is not explained in the rule book. Right. That's in the FAQ. Because obviously I can have that by it painting means. that wild one as yellow. So I probably want that, but I don't know what it is. So it says, what does this symbol mean on the hub board? The equals means that all influence you gain through this bounty in a single research action must apply to the same guild. It doesn't mean anything to me. It doesn't mean anything to me either. Okay, I assume there'll be more of them. So if there was three of them, it means you gain three influence, but it has to be with the same guild. Right, so, so at the moment you, we're if, saying I'm gaining influence on this guild. Yeah, if you turn that to yellow, it means you yeah. can copy, you can get all of the bonuses of that guild there. Well, I, I just count that as yellow. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. If you count that as yellow, yeah. you will get all the bonuses of all of the artifacts Right. in this section here. Okay. Which is that. Yeah, so... I've moved that round one, so that goes to there, so I get two points. You move what round? That. That. Okay, right. Yeah. Okay, the bonus is printed on all the artifact tiles that have been slotted yeah. into the central board near that. I get two cogs. Right, okay. Which is? Uh, cogs. If you roll three breakthrough results, you gain a technological breakthrough. You immediately increase any one guild die. Oh, I've got to row one. three of them. It's not one. No, three cogs. Yeah. Three cogs. Hmm. Now, interestingly, yeah, wild research. This is not clear. Okay. I, I think the wild research counts as a guild icon, but it it, it says it can be a colour. Yeah, well, I've got three yellows, which means three. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it's just not clear that 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 should be. Yeah. Anyway. I so I really need happens. another cog. You needed another cog. If you get another cog, you turn one of these dials up by one. Those, that's really good for me. But let's just set that. Let's do because I've already done that. So let's leave it like that, and I'll just re-roll that one. Okay. And see if I get a cog. Yep. So I'm going to get 14 money at the moment. 18 money. Oh, and then I wouldn't have needed that one. No, but it's no good on its own. So 18 money. You got two. No, but I could re. I can now re-roll that one. But I don't know what the point is. Can you keep re-rolling? It says you can roll each dice once. Okay. What roll or re-roll? You may re-roll any of these dice once. I think that means more than one. Well, yeah. The word you any get is one re-roll yeah. for any number of yeah. dice. The word any is dangerous. Otherwise, you'd be here all day. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah, I'll settle that. That's fine. Well, I'd probably have been better off re-rolling for cogs, but never mind. Right, Money's so that's, all right. that's your research done. That was exciting. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, I don't know. <laughs> it might have been. What was I doing? Oh, right. What's the sailing move on three? Three. So that sounds superficially attractive to me. Um, yeah, okay. 
So I'm going to use the scholar to copy your card. Uh, I'll do the sailing first. So one, two, three, and then boat will offload. And and what does your card actually do? Uh, draw, draw three and place three, and if they're not adjacent, you get two points. I think they're highly likely not to be adjacent. Unless there's two artifacts, I think. One. Oh. Double toxicity. Three. Triple. Triple. Triple artifact thing. Two. I think that's where the balance is. The good tiles have got the art, the toxicity on. Three. Right, so I get two toxicity. Yeah. Fun, fun, fun. And I place all three of these. And you're going to get to make an artifact. I am. Does it matter much? Go on. I'll put that one. Well, I've got more room over there, so I'll put. No, oh, it doesn't help. I'll put that one here. Yep. Bring me an artifact. Uh, this is deep water, isn't it? Okay, I've not seen that before. So we can go here. Ah. Here. And this one can go in here. Okay, so you get two points because they were not adjacent. Yeah. Anything else happening from your card? Or is that it? That's it. Okay. Right, my go. Do I carry on artifact hunting? Why am I hunting for artifacts? Oh, sorry, I need my artifact, yeah. Oh, Where's good. the artifact bag? Some of them are quite nice. I'm about to find out. A rocket engine. Oh, I found a rocket engine. Who would have expected, who would have expected that? So, it's got a boat symbol. What does that mean? Get a skiff. Okay, I haven't got a skiff. Oh, and another, and another toxicity. Marvellous. Artifacts. Artifacts. Yeah. Oh, the artifacts are explained in here. Maybe not. That symbol is on the fact, is it? Yeah. Can't see it. Artifacts was page 14, I think. Oh, and this isn't the symbol that this isn't either of the symbols that are on the back. <laughs> there was a question somewhere on BGG is there going to be an appendix with the explanations for yeah because that let's have a look it's got no arrows on it was the in the fact they always have arrows oh I know where it was it was on the um, PDF yeah. on the page where the PDF rules PDF is that's not explained at all no so we have an icon with no meaning that isn't explained brilliant I mean, I, <coughs> I would assume that is get a boat, get a skiff. Maybe you could use it for either option, either get and a boat or unload a skiff. Neither are any use to me. Yeah. It's get a skiff, isn't it? It's get a skiff. Yeah. It's get a skiff and get a toxicity. Well, normally the get a skiff has got a downward arrow. Uh, is it? No, yeah. that's, no, that's place that's a skiff where here. You place it. No, no, uh, I'm talking about on the fact. It's got this picture of suppose, supposedly most, if not all, of the icons. Um, where's the page gone? I mean, all it can be is get a skiff. Well, look, have a look. Top, top left. Yeah, it's none of that. It's neither of those. No. And one, of those, and one, of, and one on of those symbols. Space. One of those symbols is get a skiff. Is no, it? No, neither of those symbols is get a skiff. Isn't it? One is use this space to place your required skiffs, and the other one is unload your skiff. Yeah. So, so that one is get a skiff. It's got to be. No, no, th that, th this one is place newly acquired skiffs on this space, yeah, which is there. Ah, yeah. Okay, so the only thing, yeah, okay, well, yeah. all right, whatever. So you could unload your boats, and just unfortunately I haven't got any loaded boats at the moment. Well, Fair no, enough. I think it's get a boat. It's get a boat, that's what it is. I um, think it's get a free boat. Yeah. I haven't got any boats to have either, no. so. Okay, so nothing happens. We'll, we'll, say, we'll say you don't suffer the penalty as well. Um, what did I do with it? I'll get it and then, then it goes the on the blue, which is there. Some, I read something somewhere about if you can't take a benefit, you get something. Well, you get four points if there's no artifact left. Okay, that might be what I was thinking of. So let's... You get four points. Yeah, we can say that. Oh, it's not in the rules, but we'll say that. There you go. But you make, get, it, make it up as we go along. You get the... Uh, yeah. Whatever the other bit was as well. The um, Toxicity. Toxic, toxicity. I, took, I took the toxicity. Yeah. Okay, that's what we're going to do. It's not in the rules. 
Um, but that's what we're going to play with. That's the most points I've scored at any point. (laughs) (laughs) There we go. Right. Is it me? Yeah. Um, I had a thought, and then I thought, let's do something different. Still won these artifacts, and I don't know why. They seem quite subtle in terms of the artifacts. Yeah. Yeah, it is true. So what's your top card? Is the Scholar, so I can't copy that. No. I could go with Diving again, but that's really not good. Based on where I am at the moment. Because that's not been increased. The Sonar's not been increased, so our technology for Sonar Ring hasn't been increased. Uh, I think I'm going to play the Captain and pick up three cards to get three money. And then I'm going to switch roles. So these all flip over. I get how much money? I get 48 money, which seems insane. Yeah. Because I've got four, four skiffs. No, I've only got three. I thought I had four. So you get 36 money. I get 36 money. Which is the value of the skiffs, is it? Uh, which it is, yes. So 36 money. Right, then what happens? It's P2. Um, I think you get to place two tiles. Yeah, so these come off. These come back to me. Something happens with this. Yes. That goes. That was a different situation from the one you had. Yours yeah, was on your starter, starter tile. That's a point. At the moment, I can't score any more points because I've got no places to put any. Pick up each of your non starter tiles with outpost markers on them and return them to the bag. Return those outpost markers to the game box. Right, so I lose that. That goes back in the yeah. bag. And that goes out of the game. Okay, and now I place two of these. Yeah. Well, oh boy. Uh, oh, and that flips over. Yeah. Okay. So, what am I looking at doing? Red, red is worth more? Yeah. Give me a multiplier. Well, only if it's got those buildings on, isn't it? Oh, no. No. No, it's just red. Yeah. So, I can put red down. Okay, so I'm going to put this one down. It's going to cost me four red. And I'm going to put it down there. Okay. Then I'm going to put a yellow one down. Do we have to score that red at this point? Yes. So A is two. Yeah. Do I get that? There was something that added to the. Yeah, it's um, these. It's these buildings. But do those buildings count on the just placed tile? That would have been that's, that's the question. Right. The value of the district's matching guild dial plus one per building of that district's type on the entire watercraft, which can never exceed four. So, yes. I think so. That's the way we're going to play it. So, A is three. And B is one, because it's size one. So I get three points. One, yeah. two, three. Um, and then I'm going to place um, this this yellow one, spending three yellows. And I'm going to put it here. So that gets me one times one. So that gives me one point. And I think that's it. How do you get these bonuses again? Um, by... How did I do Research? It? How did I, I do it? Just now? Yeah, I think it was research. I think it was research. It Rolling was research. research. Well, I'm about to do it again, so... Oh, you got two research cards. Yeah. Okay, I think that is it. 
I think that's 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 that done. Who knows if we've got it right? Am I actually? No, I think I'm going to do this first. Let's do six transactions. When it says on the watercraft, it means completely everywhere. Yeah. yeah. So there's now a there's now oh, a there's red building on the watercraft. Isn't that red building? Oh, it's not red building. Yeah. It's in a it's in a hex. I'm going to buy three red. So for nine. For nine. And I'll buy three green for three. For three. So that was six transactions. Yeah. Okay. And I get three money because. Oh yeah. Did you pay for the green? You did. Yeah. Should just get the money, really. There we go. Okay. Done. Yeah. Right, the captain is ordering the crew back on deck or whatever. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven money. Is that Paul? You'll go. Already? Yeah, yeah. I didn't do much. Oh, well. I get to, oh sorry, I get to, sorry, I'll get to move my boat. Sorry, I might want to move my boat. Let's have a look. Where do my boats want to be? Red were red were red were a lot. One, two. Yes, this is interesting now. That'll do. Oh, this is interesting. Ah, three. Right, I'm gonna play an artisan. Where's my one that moves things up? I don't have it. Is it the speaker? Yeah, it's gone. Right, okay. Um, so I'm going to build up to two ocean tiles, and if none of those tiles are adjacent, I get three points. So I'm going to build that one there, which costs four. And that is worth two times one, so two points. And I've completed a sonar thing, so that goes to there and I get 14 points. So I'll take That's 20 and put back six. And then the second tile I'm gonna build is this one. And if I don't build it adjacent, I'll get three points. But if I do build it adjacent, so if I build it there, yeah, I'm not going to build it adjacent. I'm going to build it. I'm going to build it there. So that gets me. So green is worth one, two times one, two points. Done. Did I pay for that? I didn't. That cost me two barrels. Okay. Oh, and I get three money. Yeah. I keep forgetting this. Done. I'm going to roll four orange dice, one of which I can set the face of. Afterwards or? Well, presumably afterwards. Okay. okay. Well, that's a good question, actually. There we oh, go. What did that do? That's just a red. Okay. And that's a blue. Yeah, you've got a red and a blue and a wild. Two wilds. But I've got to turn one of those round, so I don't really care about that. So, uh, let's, let's do that. So I've got three cogs and three red. Okay. And 10 money. So it's three cogs, three red, 10 money. Yeah. So three red gets me a tile from the bag. Three red gets you all of the artifacts here. Yeah, yeah which at the moment is a tile from the tile bag. Tile from the bag. And yeah. place it. Or just a tile from the bag. Well, I assume it's just a tile from the bag. but I'm not Yeah, sure. if you're Skysider, add it to your reserve. Yeah. Yeah, don't forget to add toxicity. 
you pass them. And you get to increase one of the dials by one. Yeah. <coughs> uh, no toxicity. Okay. When does the game end, says Graham. So when this victory point pile here runs out, we finish that round and then play one more round. We are currently uh, a long way off. Uh, well, yeah, probably about forty percent through. Yeah, yeah. But I mean, I think the rate of using that raise has increased. Yeah. Oh well, I've not been looking over there. For each tile featuring your most common district type, eight for each of your factories and habitats. Oh, the icons are on there. Yeah. There you go. We didn't need to be looking them up. It's going to be on there. Well, that's what I said. Okay. And you said don't take any notice of the pictures. <laughs> No, I, that's not what I meant. <laughs> okay, <I laughs> that's what you, I meant. I thought you were trying to work out which one. No, I was like looking at those pictures and looking at those pictures. Yes. <laughs> uh, and for each of your completed sonar circles, oh, I've got one of them. But you still have to buy it. It still costs. Yeah. Oh, I've not flipped. And at the moment, I've still got not a single tile I can put one on. Right. So you just had a go, is that right? Yeah. So it's my go. Okay. Um, oh yeah, that's why that's separate. Right. Um, placing an, an outpost now without a space costs 20 extra instead of 10. Yeah, I'm aware of that. Right, where's my person that increases influence? What's she called? He called. Speaker. Speaker, speaker. Sp ah, yes. Couldn't see it. Right, so can I have three of my regular, uh, three of my regular order? Yeah, one, one, two, and three. Yeah. Three. And that gives me three, three, three tokens on there, yeah. And where do I put them? Okay. Well, you've gone round three yeah. times. Now, is that the only folks at this time? Yeah. How are we doing for time anyway? 3.40. Okay. I'm done. The next live stream is at five, so we should be done by then. Me. Uh, I need some resources and stuff is cheap, but I need green. But it's still fairly cheap. <laughs> Uh, what have you got there? Oh, yeah. Okay. Uh, sonar circles, that's what we want. We need more sonar circles. I've only got one. Yeah, this is not quite what we wanted. These are worth points at the end of the game, I think. I think whoever's got the most gets yeah. 10 and then 5. Hmm. <coughs> I need a better one of these yeah so I think I think we're going to trade so I'll make up to six transactions so the first transaction will be to buy green Second transaction is to buy green. Third transaction will be to buy Is the price for these now just gonna go up? Yeah. And there's either sell some Wow. Yellows. Okay, so this is interesting now. Yeah. Well, I, I feel no compulsion to sell at the moment. <laughs> well, exactly. <laughs> you guys knew something about the price of yellow. Or uh, I'm going to buy three yellow. Good start. Yeah. So how much is that? That's three, six, plus 12. That's 12. I bet I get three money for, for playing it, so I'll just put that back. I've got one more transaction to do where I could buy an outpost. He certainly could. He would get me 11 points. Which doesn't seem that much. Doesn't seem great, does What's it? What's the top one for each tile? That's terrible. 
your most common building type? Yeah. No, I think I'm just going to buy something else. I'll buy I'll buy another yellow. No, I'll buy another green, which is another three. Okay, so that's what I've bought. So green goes up by three, yellow goes up by three. That is my six transactions. I am done. Yeah, I think I'm going to be trading as well. So I'm getting seven money. But don't worry about it because I'm going to spend more than that. So let's buy two blue. Don't move it up yet. Well, I'm, buy I'm only buying two blue. So that's four. Just put them there. So that's four money. Okay. Is that two transactions or have you done more than that already? That's two transactions. But didn't you get three? I, I got yeah. seven. So take that four back and there's the three. Right. Okay. So you bought two blue. You've yeah. got five transactions left. You got enough, oh, you're getting seven transactions? Yeah. Mm. Oh, okay. Well. Wow. Uh, Don't move it yet. Just, just put them here. Two, two green at eight. Okay. One yellow at three. What's that? Five transactions. Mm -hmm. uh, see, shoulders. I don't know what I actually need. Uh -huh. Two more blue at. Two, mm -hmm. so that's another four. So I need four. One, I want need one change, and that is your seven transactions. Yeah. So blue goes up by four. Green goes up by two. Yeah. Yellow goes up by one. Okay. Done. Okay. The speaker has arrived. Oh, sorry. That's no. Sorry, that was last turn. The sal. No. Yes, the salvager has arrived. Okay. Right. Three extra shallows dice. And oh, you go diving. Yeah. And presumably. So last week. Someone's in the. So three extra ones, then another two of those, and another two mediums. Yeah, we should have gone there at some point. Never mind. There you go. It's all them. Oh. And anything not giving me resources gives me a victory point. Oh my goodness, that's not good. <laughs> <laughs> right, one barrel, two barrels, three barrels, four barrels, five barrels. I'll have green, I think. Five green, if I may. Are these limited? Oh, they are, no, they aren't. No, there's a times oh, no, five marker. Times five, yeah. So one, two, three, four, five of those. That was going to be barrels. Then in addition, I've got one. I'm about to start spending them. One sonar marker. Which is a toxicity and this. So we'll do that in a minute. Toxicity, I've done. That toxic. Sorry, you've that's done that one. That toxicity. We'll do that one in a minute. All right. Um, I've got two dice without resources, so I get two VP. And I've got two depletion markers. Ah, oh, three depletion markers. Is everyone beyond the everyone first? Everyone beyond the first. So I, get, so I deplete two tiles. Uh, those are depletion markers. Two tiles need to be depleted. Got to be ones that you're yeah, on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Got to be ones I'm on. Um, I've got more yellow than I know what to do with. So yellow is getting depleted. Oh, what's my other boat on? Red. Uh, okay. Oh, you're red. Right, that was me. Deplete. That was me. Depletions done. I've got one of these survivor icons. Yeah. And I've got another one from there. So I've got two survivor icons. Okay. So that icon moves that to there. Yeah. So you get two toxicity. Okay. You get an artifact. Okay. And one of the dials goes up by one. Holy texts. Which is. Is that a person? It is. And then that's going to go there. Um, do I care? Uh, are any of those tier two? This one's tier two. Oh, that one then. 
general rules in but, Gladia. And the dial goes up. A dial. Right, A okay. dial. So what dial do I like? This relates to colours of... Points that you'll get for building stuff. Building stuff. And I'll avoid stuff you guys are building. You're, you're sort of heavily into green, are you? Red. Well, I've got two green, one red, one yellow. And you're into... <laughs> Nothing much at the moment. I've got two blue, two green and a yellow. I want red. <laughs> On your turn, play a card, do what it says, that's it. Yep, okay. good easy. Oh, David Ellis is here. Can you start from the top? Yep, no problem. Just right. press the rewind button. So I'll increase the yellow by one. Okay. Um, and, and your second survivor yeah. is one point. Okay. And I think that's it. I've got to put them on the boat, but apart from that, that's it. Well done. Yeah. Wow. Lots going on. Oh, I picked up a load of green, which is illegal. <laughs> Why? Because I'm not on green. You're not on any greens, no. 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 So I'll pick up a different yeah. colour. Well, <laughs> different colours. I'll have certainly some red. In fact, give me four red. One, two, three, four red. And one of something else. One blue, I think. No, I'm done. <laughs> okay, right. So, what am I going to do? I don't know. Put something out I can copy. I could copy yours. You could. It's not very good, though. No, exactly. I'm going to put out a starter speaker. So I get two influence with one guild. Yeah. So I'm going to go there, which gets me that. Yeah. And there. And then I draw up to three tiles and discard that many from my reserve. So I'm going to draw three from the bag. Let's see what nasties we get. Oh, double toxicity. Which is bop, bop. Second tile. Okay. Now I draw the artifacts. Third tile, single toxicity. Right, add them to my hand, and then I have to throw away three tiles. So I am going to throw away those ones. Did you take a card from me? Yeah. So I want to look at what's available now because okay. I'm going to copy it. Uh, yeah, I'm throwing them away. Okay. Oh, and I get two money as well. Yeah, this money, this is really bad. Just keep forgetting. It, yeah. it should just be there. It should just say, take two money. Yeah. I'm going to be copying that. Okay. So you get two money. I get two money. And I get that card. If you'll go worth it. And you draw, are you drawing, doing any of this? Oh, I could do that, couldn't I? Yeah. yeah uh, to draw let's draw two. Uh, actually, I don't know. Yeah, Number let's draw two. Need money. Uh, no toxicity. Okay, add them to your hand and then discard two. Right, I'm going to play a sailor. Draw three tiles. I can discard X founders to draw additional tiles. So I'll discard a founder. Why don't there's only it's interesting it says discard X founders. There is only one, for, um, or maybe there are more a, cards. Any card with that icon, uh, any card with the any card with that ah. icon. Oh, I've been underplaying that slightly. Then, um, yeah, yeah, okay. So I'll discard, discard that. two founders. Uh, where's the card I'm playing? Yes, so I'm drawing five, playing three, moving four. Okay. So one, two, three, four. Uh, and then I'm drawing five. Where's the bag? Playing three. 
watch the toxicity go up. <laughs> yeah, I was fortunate, but I didn't draw anyone any places to put stuff on still, so... Across a lot of tiles and no toxicity. Wow. Okay, so I am playing three of these, so that purple one can go there. Um, a green one. Have they got a, a red one? And the third one will be this green one, I think. Okay, that's the bag. Done. Okay, right. So, what kind of <coughs> stuff you in the research dice? You can do that, you can do that. But the good thing is just getting, getting these, isn't it? But that's quite nice. You get three yellows. Well, there's A4. And that's building up to two. And there's two any good. Yes. Okay, I'm going to play a starter founder, so I get three money. Uh, I'm going to draw an ocean tile. Have an ocean tile, please. I've been waiting for you so long to play that bloody card. <laughs> no toxicity. Oh no, it doesn't work because you're not topside anymore. Okay, and then I'm going to build up to two. So I do. I build. A green one for four. <laughs> now, if I've got this right, That's useless. this goes here, and it gives me eight points because green is worth two. There's two extra green buildings, so that's four. So A is four, and B is two. So it's four times two. So, so A is the building. What, so what is B based on? The size of the contiguous area of the same colour. Area of the same colour that you're building. The total number of tiles of that district colour that are contiguously connected to the new tile without any breaks. Oh, in fact, it can go across water. According to the example here. So, in fact, I'll put it there. Because now it's four times three. Mm. Green tile, green tile, green tile. Okay. Yeah, there's an example here where there is a break. Oh, uh, that's confusing. Okay. Yeah, so that gets me uh, 12 points. I'll take... Uh, can anybody trade in? Any ones or something? What do you want? I've only got four. I've only got... I've got five ones. Okay. I'm getting 12 points, so that's 12 points. That's my first one, and then my second one is going to be this, which unfortunately I put in the wrong position, but that's fine. So I'll put that there, spending four yellow barrels. So that gets me yellow dial is on two plus one, so A is three, yeah. multiplied by one, three points. Okay, and then I've got one, two, three. No, nope, I can't go enough. Uh, done that, done that, done that, and I think I took me three money. So, done. Okay. So I'm doing this. You have a topside founder. So... I do. Any uh, dials are on plus one for me. Okay. So I'm going to be building that one. No, not that one. Those two. So, oh, got fifty. That Let's get rid of those. goes there. 50. Is there any toxicity on those tiles? That goes there. He's not. He's building rather I'm building, than drawing. Not drawing. Ah, okay. Uh, so that's. So the first one is two. You put this on first. Yeah. So two so pay plus your one. Let's pay three, for it. So four. Four. Yeah. Multiplied by one, so four points. So it's, where are you getting four from, sorry? A is four. A is four. Uh -huh. what? Well, the dial is treated at plus one. Yeah, plus one is three. Plus the one for the building. 
Oh, poor. Well, there's already these two buildings as well. I think it must be yours. Sure, it must be yours. Yeah. <laughs> there Otherwise, is, it goes to four really quickly. I think there is something slightly helpful in this regard okay. in the FAC. Um, but anyway, it's four points. Yeah, anyway, I can't find it at the minute, yeah. but, but, but it says that basically it's your stuff. That so it's four points for the first one, and then it'll be five points for the second one. No, it'll be eight. It's A times B. B is one. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, okay. If you put that there, B is two. You don't want to put it like that, though, do you? No. Yeah, so four points for the first one. Yeah. It says, do I count tiles in my opponent's areas when scoring objective And eight tiles? points for the second one, which is 12. No, and that goes up there, which is another 12. What goes up where? There. Yeah. So I get 24 points. Although that wasn't really give you four if you want it. Uh, 20, sorry. Oh, yeah, okay. 20. Well, hmm. Yeah. And you have those four nose back. So sonaring is now safe. Is it? Yeah. Excellent. Me then. Yeah, it says present on the watercraft. But I'm not sure what, if there is, is a it, definition. Is, it, is there one or many watercraft? Of what the watercraft is. Okay, so oh, part of the <coughs> same watercraft. Uh, the circled building tile on tile one counts for the calculation of A since it is part of the same watercraft, but tile one does not count towards the calculation of B since the district... Yeah, okay, right. So the building counts even if it's not connected, but it then wouldn't count for the contiguous okay. chain. Yeah, okay, that's fine. Okay, I'm going to purvey uh, five transactions, and I can also discard X other trader cards. So presumably the scholar counts as a... Got a sort of wild. Uh, that's a good point. Is the scholar a trader? Uh, C. Guild icon for guild affiliated crew only. What well, has it got that icon on it? No, it has a wild one. Oh, oh, yes, anything then. Well, you, you read that at the beginning that, that meant any tr any guild. I remember you reading that out somewhere. The guild is called Traders. Uh, for reference purposes, <coughs> the scholar belongs to all guilds. Yes. Yeah. So, yeah. For all effects that check its affiliation. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so I can get seven transactions and two sale. So I'll use the two sale to move this boat, which is sadly sitting on a depleted area, to here maybe? Yeah. Two. So that was a sailing. Seven transactions. Um, so it will be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So I'll sell four red at what price is it? I can't even read it here. Is it four? Red is at four. So four at four is sixteen. Four at four is sixteen. And yeah. three yellow. Another four. Uh, you get twenty eight. Twenty eight. Good. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. Nice. That's me done. Right. Okay. So I've got the Lugert. Gain three influence with one guild. If the previous player has a topside speaker, you do not. Oh, do I wait? <laughs> Save that then until you play a speaker. I, I, sat, I hung on to that one for ages waiting for you to play a finder. I can do a scholar and I can copy that, but I don't have the stuff to build the thing. So I might. I might do some research. So I get four dice, one of which I can set to whatever I want, and then change the facing of one die. See, that's different from the way yours was that you worded. Yours was, or was that was yours worded the same way? Yeah. Not set the die, but change the face. Change the face. Yeah, okay. Can I see those two top objective? These ones? Yeah. Thank you. Why are you doing that? Okay. So, research. Um, okay, well, that's rubbish. So, I'll change that one to that. 
So I get 22 money and a cog. So 22 money and the cog will increase. Um, I'll increase yellow. Click. There you go. Done. Let's play that one. Draw an ocean tile. Play up to two. And get three money. You got the resources? You got lots of resources. Look at them. Not what I wanted. Any Use toxicity? No. Okay. But I want somewhere to put one of them without paying plus 20. Right. Which I don't seem to be able to be drawing. I have one of those. Yeah, on my starter time. So that doesn't add any buildings, so it'll be two times two and then two times two. Uh, no, hang on. What? No? Yeah, it comes going twice and place one tile. I've, I've placed, placed two. I've placed that and no. that. Right, well, oh, right, you're you're doing, doing one at a time. time. <laughs> Otherwise, yeah, I'm not adding any buildings, is what I said. So you place that. So A is four times three. So that's 12. Oh, I've OK, I've been multiplying the wrong things. I see what's happening now. <laughs> so it's that plus the number of buildings is eight. times the number of tiles. Yes. OK. So of that's 12. Yeah, OK. So that's 12. Plus 16. Yeah. So you get 28 points for doing yeah. that. And I get. 10 points there, so that's 38 points. Okay. Owe you a point. Was so not instead of owing you a I'll point, get that. I'll take four off you and give you another five. Oh no, I don't get that, do I? The victory point pile is down to 120. That's for no, you something just, else. You just get that. I just get the 10 points. Which is another 10. There you go. Victory yeah. point pile is down to 109. Yeah. Right, I am delving. And what are these? This is Two what additional shallows, dice. One, so three shallows dice and three shelf or whatever it's called. Three and three. The medium level? Yeah. I feel like I want to be throwing some deep water dice, but uh, never mind. Still going out, still going out. Three hours in? We're three right. hours in? Yeah, we're three hours in. I've got barrel, 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 barrel. So four barrels. Uh, all of which can be green this time. Yeah. You've got the money. Just need to build stuff. One, two, three, four. Is that all the barrels? One, two, three, four. Then sonar. I've got. Two sonar is good now. Two sonar. That is a new icon we've not seen before. I'm assuming it's killer cube from another <coughs> player. Game one survivor and then roll another dive of the same type and add it to your results. You cannot roll more dice in total than currently remain in the supply. Okay, it's an exploding dice. What? That. Yeah. Roll another dice. Roll one more dice. Yeah, of the same type and, and add it to your as the sonar dice. dice. Well I've got I've got a shallows and a and a uh, and a shelf. Well it's rolled. I'll do one at a time, shall we? Yeah. So, so here's the shallows. Another barrel. Yeah. And the other shelf. Um, is that the right one? Keep going. Next up. That one. Oh, there you go. See through. There that, one. that one. <laughs> another sonar. Right. And which is another one, but there isn't another one. So you can't roll it? No. Okay. But you um, do get, was it three survivors? Yeah. yeah. Roll three sonar in total, is that? Yeah, yeah three yeah, sonar three survivors. survivors. Three survivors. Three survivors is advancing this thing three is times. One, two, three. So I get a car. It's a crew member. Which will be a red guy. Two points. And two toxicity. Uh, two toxicity, great. An artifact. Check the bag. And one of the dials goes up by one. There's a lot going on. Uh, satellite, two VP and That's two. Not, oh right, okay. And two. Um, two barrels of choice, whatever you want. Presumably. VP, two barrels of my choice, which may as well be green. Um, and I still got to do the depletions. 
Are these the barrels into my reserve? I can... Yes. Yeah. Uh, and I've got loads of depletions. So let me. Are the barrels into your reserve? The well, barrels from what? I'm getting these from here. Yes. Yeah. And have we done this twice? Yeah, you did that three times. Three times, even. Yeah. Okay, so I've still got to do my depletions. So there's one, two, three, four, five. So you get four depletions. Four depletions. I don't think I'll be doing much. Uh, much. Well, that's all the, all the reboot. Yeah. Okay. Right. That was interesting. Yeah. So, do I want to get three influence with one guild? Yes. Three influence with one guild. One. Put a thing on there. Two. Three. Survivor. Which is a point. Yeah. Anybody got any ones? Yeah, I've yeah. probably got loads. Not loads, Dan. No, that's all right. Found Arthur's something. got loads. Actually, I've not got loads. Well, no. you've got more than five. Right. I, I got more one. than five, I grant you that. I've only got two. I forgot that was a survivor. I thought it was going to be a card. No, it's all right. Anyway, uh, and if the previous player has a top side speaker. No. That was a bit rubbish. Well, Arthur's not going to get up there, is he, for the seal? So. Yeah, no, I'm not going to do that. One, two, three. Take the seal back. Put that card back in hand. Instead, I'll play the captain. Two for each card you pick up, including this one. One, two, three, four, five, six. So I get 12 money. Okay, done. Yeah. Well, I am going to play it. Just don't know which sounds sound like do a it cat. Is. Loki! Come on, Loki. Where have you gone? Well, I think I'm going to go one, two, three. Uh, oh, really. One, two, three, four, one, two. I'll have a blue barrel, please. Loki. Okay. Loads of bloody blue there. There's no point. Can I take a blue barrel, please, Paul? There you go. I've got a blue barrel. Uh, I get a seal on there. And then I'm going to retire that crew card. Put another seal on there. Perfect. That's what you should have done. What? You had the same card, didn't you? Diplomat. Doesn't allow you to retire. No, no mine does. All the cards are unique. Oh, okay. Okay. Apart from the starter ones. Right, I am rallying. So you know, one. can hear your player rank. Two. Okay, I'm not going to retire. Three, four, five, six, we'll for a minute. seven. Eight, nine, oh, we get ten, ten money. money. Ten money. And are you going sky side? No. It's going to stay down below. There's no points. Futile. Right, my go. Oh gosh. Um, I need. Um, I need um, barrels. How do I get barrels? Trade. Is my trader any good? No, it's a bit rubbish. You haven't got a speaker on top of you, so. No, there's nothing on top. Uh, Six transactions. Okay, well, I need to be building yellow, so I'll definitely buy four yellow. One, two, three, four. Um, then I probably also want to buy some green in the hope that I draw some green tiles. But green's really expensive. But I could do outposts. Oh, but if I do outposts, then I can't do that. Arg. Right, I'm just going to buy two yellow and four blue. All right, how much is that? 20. So I'll spend 20. That is six transactions. So yellow goes up by two, blue goes up by four. One, two, three, four. And these are mine. Done. Oh, and I get three money for playing the card. Okay, uh, 13 times 2 money, 26 money please. Oh, cool. oh, captain. Captain. All right, okay. 
Uh, this seems like a long game. It is. It's, yes. a, it's, it's not a short game. It's about to and end. even if we knew how to play the game, it would probably be a two and a half, three hour game. Yeah, I think it is about to end, actually. Um, I mean, there's still 110 points, 105 points left in here, but yeah. we're building up the building yeah. that's going to empty it. Yeah. So you're, you just had your go, right? We've probably got. You've got enough space there. <laughs> yeah. Oh, actually, yeah, the next, the next video is at five, so we do need to play quick. I, yeah, I think it will finish it. Yeah. Uh, you've done, right? I'm done. Right, so I'm going to do a purveyor. And I'm discarding two traders to give me a total of seven actions, uh, seven transactions, and actually, actually, and also two sales. Yeah. So I've got to do the sale first. Uh, let's go over here. Okay. So seven transactions. Transaction number one. I'm going to buy an outpost for twenty. Okay. And which of these scoring tiles would you like? Um, I would like the. That this one. one. Yep. So choose a guild or choose founders, delvers, or traders. The compass people, who are they? Uh, founders. And how many uh, founders, non starter founders, have you got? Three. So you get 36 points. Indeed. Oh, okay, that's why you're saying it's going to end. Right, Three. so. Can you well, give us 14. Well, before we oh, do okay. that, so I'm going to buy another outpost for 22. Oh, ooh. do you want the same again? Uh, yes, or does that go away? That goes away, yeah. But it's the fo one following, yeah. I presume the one following is similarly. Fair so you're getting anyway. 21, so you're getting 63 points. Okay, if you say so. I yeah. can't read it from here, but yeah, 63. Well, that's 12 for then, each one, and that's 9 for each one. Then I need, I want to do another one. Another one's going to come to 25, so I need to find another, let's say, 10. So if I sell, so two more transactions, sell two green. Yeah. That gives me 10. And 15 is 25. The so third I'll go the post. third hour. I have to make sure that room for the. I do, I do believe I do. Yeah. Nice. Oh wow. Where is it? Yeah. Um. So same again. It's Oops. down to five. Oh, it's down. So what, it's, five total. Yeah. So it's twelve, nine, and five. So that's twenty-six. That's what, twenty-six. What's the top one on the next one? Well, this would get you nothing. Oh, because I'm not going to. So this would get you. This would get you ten points. I'll take that, that That's probably better because that's 15 points. Oh, oh okay. Yeah. yeah. Right. So it's 12 plus 9 is 21. Yep. 26 per card. So 78. Oh, okay. okay. 78 points. Which I think are none so far. So if you give me 100. Yeah. And you give back 22. 22. Okay. 5, 10. Oh, I might not have 22. Wow. Okay. 12. That's changed things a bit. 14. It's not going to work. I've not got enough change. Um, you have to make change out of the thing. So I want so I've put a hunt. Well, put fifty in and make change. And I can take my seventy-eight. I think it did, wasn't it? Sixty seventy-eight. I think it said seventy-eight. Yeah, it did. Twenty-six times three. Yeah. Seventy-five, six, seven, eight, and that was four, five transactions. You bought three outposts and traded two green. Yeah, so that's fine. So we've got two transactions left. Um, the green hasn't gone down yet. It will go down by two. Yeah. So <coughs> sell two yellow. Okay. So you get another six. Okay, so I'll take six back out of there. That's me done. So I can totally do that. Yeah, let's do that. But then I'm going to have to do that. You haven't got anything, have you, in front of you? No. Nope. I'm going to build. Build up to two ocean tiles, and if they're not adjacent, get three. So this is going here at a cost of three blue, which gets me one point. Um, and then I'm building a yellow, which I'll just put um, here, which is one, two, three, four times two is eight points. So you're getting there, anyway. Oh, not quite. So I need oh, to put is. 12, because yeah. I'm going to end it. Right, so I need to take eight points. I'm taking ten. And I'm putting two back. So minor point. I really don't like these spiky victory points. No, they could have done with being a bit less. It's spiky. just irritating. 
Uh, and what have I just done? I've just completed another one of them, which is eight more points. So five, six, seven, eight. And I've got one, two, three, four, swap them for 20. Right. And I get three money for playing the card. Done. Okay. Ten points left in the victory final. So this is going to be the penultimate round. Oh yeah, I'm, I'm yeah. getting a... Yeah. So three money. Let's sell. So I've got six transactions, so let's four, sell four things. So three yellows and a green. Put them here, okay. So that's getting you 10 money. Yeah. We've got two transactions left. Two outposts. 47, 67, 87. Both I've got going enough. on the water. Aye? Both going on the water. Yeah. Okay. Don't know if I've got enough money. Eighty, eighty-five, eighty-six, eighty-seven. Okay. So you get twenty-two points for that. Yeah. I'll just give it from here now. Uh, oh no, twenty's left. Okay, so twenty-two points from that, and yeah. for this, sixteen. Uh, you've no habitats and you've no factories. Let's not take it then. <laughs> oh, I haven't played them yet. No. No. Do you want to take the other, the other sonar one? Or do you want to take that one? I'm going to take that one. That's 16. That's 16. So what I was, was going to take that one next round. 22 plus 16 is 38. Yeah. You got 12. Right, you're done. So. Yeah, I couldn't, VP quite, couldn't ended. quite get the last sonar ring done in time. End of the game has been triggered. Mm -hmm. You've got two more turns left. Yes, right. Well, I am now joining the flotilla. Oh, it's and that goes up by three and that goes up by one. You are, you're joining, don't you? Yeah. So move each of your skiffs to the dock. Is this the dock or is that? The dock? Oh, you're supposed to, no, you just sell them. And you're going to get 36 minutes. And I get these resources that are sitting on them, don't yeah. I? So there is your 36 money for selling your skiffs. Okay. Step you know two, return each of your One outposts. Of those yellows. Give me the yellow back. And each of your outpost bearing tiles. Return each of your outposts and each of your outpost bearing tiles other than starting tiles. Yeah, the these box. go out of the game. But these don't? Correct. They go to you. Ah, so yeah, yeah. Right, so they go back in the bag, your outposts go out of the game. Thank you. Right, so I take all of so I, need take, I take all of these. Well, is it going to mess things up? No. Okay. Yeah, but we undo things. We make mistakes. Go on. What is it? I'm just swapping the, the yellow that I sold. Instead of selling that yellow, I'm buying a blue, which means I've just got to give you three more money. Okay. And you give me a blue. And that goes down by one, and that goes up by one. Yeah. And I get. You bought a blue. Yeah. So it goes up. Yeah. And you bought right. a yellow. No. no, I didn't. I unsold a yellow. So it went down. No, it went up. Because I didn't sell it. I sold three yellows. I might have moved these the wrong way. Okay. Okay, are those three money no, actually? No. Oh, give me a blue. Thing. If you um, buy it, goes up. If you sell it, it goes down. Yeah, I think you moved them the wrong way. Attach your starting tile to the flotilla in its original position. Build a number of tiles indicated in the space where you docked your skiffs. So you sold. I sold two yellows and a red earlier. Yeah. I, and I, and I, instead of selling three yellows and a red, I bought one blue. Didn't you sell the green this time? Oh, so sorry. I sold two, three yellows and a green. Okay. So can't remember. Probably done it wrong. Yeah. But never mind. Okay. Because I've only got two more turns left. Yeah. If I'm going to buy one of those tiles, yeah, which is only going to be 16 points. Yeah, see, I thought that's what I was going to do, but I forgot I hadn't got these out yet, which are the ones that scored points for that. Yeah, this is the problem. I need to, I need to transact. Right. So I think I can only build if two tiles because it's there. Yeah. That's the problem. I can only build two. I tiles. can copy yours. Yes. So I'll build yeah. the two I can build. 
uh, which are those two. And you're building three tiles, aren't you? I could theoretically build oh, three. Oh no, two. I can only afford two. It's two. Is it two? It's two, yeah. Yeah, not drawing anywhere where I could put a building out was very painful. I've already got one. Nice. Well, oh, money you've saved. The P3 is a player three. Okay, yeah. No, it's because I didn't use it. All right, feel happier now. I've only built a couple yeah, of you used it, yeah. yeah. I've drawn one all game. Yeah, but you got the artifacts. Right, so I'll build these two. Sure. Um, and it's best to keep things well, of the same colour. And it's best to keep things of the same colour together, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. So I've got to put one there. That's three points. And one. Yeah, and that's two points. And I have to pay two green so and five three points. yellow. Go. So that's uh, why not even do that anyway. Yeah, why not? So I think my only options are scholar to copy this. Yeah, I get three money, and then I do six transactions, and I need to spend twenty-two. So first transaction. 22 to buy this now that one up there I've got three green together that, that would be nine points that next one would be eight points and that one would be 16 so I'll have that one All right, so I get 16 points that was my first transaction And how many transactions have we got? Six. Going to be just enough. Uh, so I'm going to buy two yellow and three blue. Which is four plus 21, which is 25. So I've bought, which means the price goes up. So that, one, two, three. So close. Right, what I'm doing now matters well, about turn. tie breaks. So, well, we've not read the tie break rules. No, that's but why. there's also stuff for points. Shall we? Shall we skip to end of game? Because stuff is worth points at the end of the game. Mm -hmm. One for every five money you have. One for every two resources you have, and your penalty marker. And then we've got guilds. The one with the most seals is ten. Second most seals is and five. What's the tie break for that? Uh, in case of a tie, the player with the least toxicity. Further ties are friendly with all players tied receiving the bonus. Okay. So I'm not going to do what I was planning to do then. Instead, I'm going to do that one. There we go. Right. So I'm going to do that one. And I'll move. I've not done this at all. That one. One, two, three. Which gets me a seal on there. And it gets me to draw a tile, but it's completely irrelevant now. And then I'll discard it. For retire it. Retire it for a. Okay. See you on there. And you're done? I'm done. Right. All right. So what Skyside um, people are in play at this time? Scholar, who which you can't copy, and the trader. And no, the trader it, does Oh, yeah, it is the trader, because you got rid of that. Yeah. Six okay. transactions. All right, I'm going to do, do some research then. The craftsman. So I, I could go there roll and get six, 10 points. So it's like roll six dice. Is that what it means? Six dice? Yeah. Roll six research dice for each pair of like coloured results gain a resource of that type. But there are other possible results on this, aren't there? Yeah. Yeah, yeah because those are not very interesting. So and the other two are that. But that doesn't get to build building a Right, so you were doing rerolls, but I don't believe I have any ability to reroll. For each pair of like coloured results gain a resource of that type. So I have four red results. You get two red resources. Two red resources. <laughs> And what else have I got? I've got a blue, but it's on its own, yeah, so I presume that's five. nothing. And I've got a points. cog. What does the cog do? No, you need three, you three of them. them. You need three of them, okay. All right, and I'll get a load of money as well. So 10 and 16, 26 money. And I'm done, I guess. So yes. I've worked out, if I build, oh. I'd get 14 points. I'm out two money from when I played that. I don't think it makes any difference. Oh, it does actually, because it's fives. But if I play this other card, I'll take 10 points off you. So I probably want to do that. Because that's a 20 point swing. Yeah. It's not at all what I was planning to do. You're going to do the same as I did. What? I don't know. What are you doing? Go around here. 
That okay. gets me one on here, but I break on tiebreaker. Hi. Because I've got least toxicity. I would? No, you got the same. Oh, I thought. Oh, so okay. it's friendly ties. I did it because I've got less than Arthur. Right, okay. Now, after toxicity is friendly ties, I think you said. What's the one on top? What of your top side card? Is it a speaker? Uh, craftsman. Yeah, so actually there's no point. So I'll play the founder. So I get three money. <coughs> and then I build, I draw an ocean tile, which I don't really want. You all right, Loki? Is it food time? Yep. Uh, and then I build these two. So I spend four barrels, and two yellow barrels, um, so I place that here, which gets two times two, which is four. And then I place a yellow there. In fact, let's just make it look pretty. Uh, so that's four, and the yellow is four times three, which is 12, so 16 points. 16 points, there's six. If I take 56 and put 40 back, that's 16, and we are done. End of the game. Right. Let's count up and then change this game quickly for the next one. <laughs> um, once all of the things have been taken, do, 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 right, one for every five money remaining. I have 10 left. That's two points. I have 15 left. That's three points. Well, I'll have the resources on before I do it. So three so far. I get one for every every five money. So that's seventy-five. Money. Seventy-five money. Is that fifteen? Yeah. Wow, that's fifteen. Okay, one for every two resources. Four, one, two, five, six, eight, nine. Penalty ten. marker. Nine, ten. So two, five. So I lose six for my toxicity. I lose six. So I'm owed four. Lose ten. How do I get more ones. toxicity than you guys? I guess I spent more time. And then it? for each guild. Can you... I, I need four change and you've got all the ones, Arthur. <laughs> Literally all Three. of the ones, I think. Three, four, five. Right, so... Uh, so ten and I need four change. So, so if I take four of them, and one goes in the pile. Right, so this guild, you get ten. Hang yeah. on. This guild... I get ten. You get ten. This, you get ten. And this, you get ten. Yeah, so you get 40 points. I've yeah. been presumptive. Either. Then 40 you points. get five. Yeah, so, this, 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 this. so you get 15. Yeah, I thought 15. I was doing quite well there. I didn't get any. I got 122. I think you've, e you've easily beat that one. Yeah, that's uh, it. 122. 160, 175, wow. 179. No, you're way, way more than me. Yeah, I, I hammered those then. Well, I've got those. Mm. I think it was hundred. I think it was one twenty-seven. But I had to count it again because I forgot. So that's a hundred. Ten, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-seven. One twenty-seven. So one twenty-two, one twenty-seven, one seven nine. There we go. Right. We have. It is half four. We have half an hour before the next video. We can do a quick round the table. So it, it was long. And it would be at least two hours if we played again. It would. Probably. It's a little bit fiddly. Bit more. I like it, but I don't think it would make it to the table very often. It's a bit too fiddly, I think. A bit too long for what it is. There's two games in one. And that's, if it was just the first part of the game, it'd be, it'd be okay. Yeah. Yeah. But the second part of the game, with some extra different rules, is what makes the game. Yeah. But it also tips it into the... Oh, wait a minute. Yeah. It's more complicated. Yeah. So it's, it's nice. I like it, but I just can't see it getting played much. No, it's a bit, bit long. Bit long, bit fiddly. My type of game, but I think I'd have real trouble getting it played. Right. Yeah, I quite liked it. I like the earlier part of the game more than the latter part. I mean, I stayed on the you did. sink side anyway, but, yeah. but uh, that initial part where you're exploring and sort of deciding what to do was quite interesting, I thought. Um, I, I'd play it again, and I'd switch roles right at the start, just to experiment mm. and see what happens. Yeah, where I would actually probably try and 
work out what tiles I want, I needed the resources for get the resources and then switch. Yeah. Whereas I just switched because it seemed like a thing to do. Oh, I haven't got quite the right resources yeah. that I need. The thing I found quite interesting, <laughs> and this was before we discovered Paul had run away with the uh, the scores, was that being the only person left on the sink side, there was absolutely no competition for those things. I could do what I no, wanted. No, do what you want. Lots of yeah. music, which I thought was quite interesting. Yeah. yeah. Which is what I was doing. Yeah, I l- obviously. Yeah. I liked the dynamic. I mean, I like dynamic markets anyway. But I like the fact that me and you were sky side. Yeah. So we were having to buy barrels, yeah. which was driving the price up, which benefited you. Yeah, it may be possible to, to, to buy all those outputs. So then yeah. you, you found more yeah. stuff and you sold it, which drove the price down. Mm-hmm. So that, that they, was quite nice. I noticed at one point I needed a lot of one color. So I think what I did early was bought most of what I could see I was going to need early because Arthur didn't seem to have the right colors to drive the prices down. Right. And I thought, well, I'd better buy those now because I had a lot of blue stuff, I think, or a lot of green. I can't remember what I had at the time, but it was looking dodgy on one colour because he had, a, I think he had all yellow and I wanted green and blue or something. So I thought, well, those prices aren't going to go down, so I'll buy it as early as I can before you come up and force the price up as well. Yeah. For me, I think the game's perhaps slightly, I mean, I do like complex games, but I, I think it's overcomplicated. I mean, I don't see that this adds much. I mean, no. Twirling around there. No. no. There's a, the, yeah. There's a few bits in it that felt. Does it really need yeah. this bit? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I mean, I, I, that made me change my timing a couple of times because I was going to send that disc round to there. And then when you decided not to do something, that was still there. And I yeah. wanted that benefit. So I decided, to ch- so I changed my mind based on that. So. And did anyone do the, the skip the space thing on the rondels? Or? No. No, but I thought about it. Mm. No, and I, and I, I, I should have done because me taking these extra crew that I then not didn't use, I should have skipped, rather than going there and getting that crew, I, I should have gone to there and got a tile on. Yeah. That would have got me 10 points. Yeah. And I think I'd have been better off not smearing myself out of three of those rondels with maybe concentrating on one or two of them. Mm. Um, yeah, there's, there's a lot going on, and there's a few different right. mechanisms within the game. Some of them seem to fit quite well. I'm not sure if we did this bit yeah, right. Yeah, the, the artifact didn't feel right. Maybe, maybe I did, maybe we did, I'm not sure. But we didn't draw the artifacts that were broke that, that were wrong. So there's two yeah, artifacts that yeah. are worth five points, but one of them is labelled two. And there's two artifacts worth twelve money, and one mm-hmm. of them is labelled five. So it's a misprint. Yeah. They've they've clarified it's a misprint. So the dial is the permanent multiplier bonus. Oh, yeah, yeah. But then your buildings yeah. are your own. Unfortunately, I didn't realise that at the time that I put that one up because I didn't have a single red tile all game. Yeah. <laughs> and I pushed that one up randomly early. I, I definitely play it again, but you're right. What you first said, it's a bit long, it's a bit complex. And yeah. we play complex games. Yeah, yeah. But this one felt a little bit. I think it needs to be streamlined, something's taken out. I mean, it's that's, that's not going to happen. But yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, I know. But, I know. Um, yeah. If we were developing the game, yeah, we'd yeah. look at that. It yeah. feels like it's missed a development stage to be. Yeah. I'd, I'd play it again because it does give something different in it the does. switching of roles. And yeah. that's, that's it's clever. Intre- it is interesting. And that is interesting. I do know somebody who's probably going to want to play it, actually. But in general, I think it'd be hard to get to the table. Right. And actually, yeah. I mean, I went to Ash and Spiel, and this is one of the games we were trying to get a demo of that we <laughs> could never get on. And the reason was that exactly what you just said, the fact that it had this different mechanic, this unusual yeah. mechanic. And we could never get a demo because the demo day was continually occupied. Yeah. Which is a good sign. So I'm quite pleased to play it now. Yeah. Um, Component-wise, was pretty good. Graphic design, I think, was pretty clear. It's just there was a few things that weren't actually in the rule book, yeah. and that that's a bit of a problem. The rule the rule book is the weak point, but they have released one FAQ. But as I mentioned at the start, there's errata that isn't currently in the FAQ, and that was 13th of November. So it's been three weeks. The FAQ really needs updating. Whiz kids, if you're watching this, update your uh, update your FAQ because there are things needed in there. Um, but yes, we're going to pack away now. We have fistful of meeples at five o'clock. So we have. 23 minutes to get rid of this. And you need to confirm what's happening with Kalis. Yeah, set up fistful of meeples. And we have Kalis tonight at eight o'clock as well. So stay tuned. Well, don't stay tuned to this because this video is going to finish. But on the channel, <laughs> two other videos later on today. Thank you very much to everybody for watching. Quick question in from Alan. Would you go Skyside early or late next time you played? I'd go early just because I want to see what happens. I- I'd go, I'd make sure I had the resources that tied into the far side of the tiles first. I'd go round one. Yeah, I, just just to see I, I, and see what happens. Um, but anyway, yes. So thank you very much for watching. Uh, what else to say? Support me on Patreon if you like my stuff, and we'll see you in twenty minutes. Cheers, all. Bye bye.
Gaming Rules is proudly sponsored by Game Toppers, upgrading your gaming experience. Visit GameToppersLLC.com.